Oh, oh fuck, shit. man. Oh, God damn it. No. It's all so awful. <laughs> yes, but. Shut up. I'm excited for the final episode of Disney Plus's The Mandalorian. I am. I just don't have the energy to express it. Merry Christmas. Happy Halloween. No. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you're... Oh, you're... <laughs> Merry Crumbobulus, Michael. Merry Christmas. Zombie Jesus Day. Well, welcome yeah. to Mandalorian. Jingle bells. Woo. I'll, I'll jingle your bells. May your chestnuts forever be roasting. Like okay, and, and that? Lick my balls. Oh. <laughs> Remember in episode 7 when they are in their 16 wheel nitroglycerin transportation truck? Yeah. Yeah. And they fun. get to. And they get to the bridge where all the stormtroopers are. Mm -hmm. And when the stormtroopers start saluting, it's all with their left hand. And then the next scene when they're all saluting, it's all with their right hand. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. And it's like, holy shit, I didn't, I, we didn't pick up on this the first time. I didn't even notice this the first time, how they swap hand, which hand they salute with. Yeah, Other than that, the show was great. And if that wasn't in this, you'd be fine with it. Whoa, who's yeah, that? I do that Jay, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I, I we'll let the door open. Play. Shad's not here as well. I think it's people going like, whoa, 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 Shad. Shad's not available. He's not on Christmas holidays. Jay is now Shad. Yeah, I'm somewhere. Shad. Why would Jay be here? Does Jay even watch this show? Jay's watched all of our coverage. <laughs> Jay, tell the audience what you think of the show from what you've seen. I don't think it looks very good. What? Did you not tear up when you saw Boba Fett fire his gun? Remember Boba Fett? I do remember Boba Fett. I do. Boba. <laughs> Fucking love that edit. It's so good. <laughs> Boba Fett. Uh, Perfect. Someone thought, where's like a really cool fit, a place on the body that doesn't really have weapons that often that we could be like, oh, look at him, the sci-fi man with his rockets on his knee. And so, Jay, uh, would you like to introduce um, a program you created? I'm calling it a program. Yeah, that, it's a program now. That it's incredibly well detailed and it's going to help writers in future sort of discover like their potential. Let's, let's put it that way. It's going to help them discover their inner Boba Fett. I thought basically the only oh, reason he had knees on knees on knees his rockets. On his <laughs> I thought basically the only reason he had knees on his rockets was they wanted original weapons to make him look to make him stand out and look cool. But like the only way you make an original weapon is you do something that like's never existed in the real world or, or history or any of that. And the reason it doesn't exist in the real world is generally because it's wildly impractical and there's no reason to do it. Well, no, it's usually because we're not cool enough to have made it. Oh, well, yeah, you know, maybe like a lightsaber. It's, it's something there's no know, one in real life who could be yeah. cool enough to but be I Boba think, Fett. I think we have the technology to strap a rocket to someone's knee, I, I think. Yeah, um, say that, but, but I, made I haven't seen it. A little, made a little sheet that creates new weapons for Boba Fett. By combining a random weapon with a random body part. One, but what, what do you want to what do you so, want to do with the sheet? So everyone grab it up, and then we all hit refresh at the same time, and then snap a photo of what you've got and post it. All right, refreshing. Uh, no, there we go. I it's already fine. know the jokes that are going to be made about mine. So, <laughs> what we're doing now is we're going to compare weapons against each other. We, we, oh yeah. So for anyone who doesn't really quite understand what the fuck's happening right now, it'll randomize you three weapons, and they they give you a body part and a weapon. And what's going to happen is we we try and reasonably assume who out of the five results will win with their uh, incredible weaponry. So we've got all five. Metal versus rags. The best weapon rags has is the vagina lightsaber, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but metal has the bicep planet destroying you weapon. Slide that I, lightsaber right up there. Bicep planet destroying weapon is pretty powerful. I, have, I feel I like you might say. win already because of that. <laughs> destroy a planet. Well, the thing is, but what if you're on the planet? What if you're on the planet together? You I mean, if you're locked in a room, everyone. you're not going to want to use that. And then, what is a lower back air gun? I don't feel like that's going to be very good. That's basically your asshole. Eyelid <laughs> um, <laughs> whip. That's not going to be very good. Because Rags has got blades, broadsword, and a lightsaber. I can, I can whip my eyelids so fast, dude. <laughs> so really, lightsaber can cut through anything. We should have. Except Beskar. Yeah, except I have Beskar. Beskar eyelids. <laughs> I guess we should have made it clear that um, where the fight was taking place, huh? Because if it's like you how dropped in the universe and the two about, of you. How about in a random shithole? The Geonosis oh. Arena. Okay. Where, where Obi-Wan is on the big thing. Well, either Rags wins or Metal destroys them both. 
I guess. <laughs> it's a draw. I would call it a draw. <laughs> I, lo I love the fact that your weapons are just like so fucking bad, but you win anyway because metals are worse. Well, let's see if we can get any further with Fringy and I. Right? I got arm, okay. anti aircraft gun, shoulder claymore, and forehead ion cannons is pretty good. That's pretty so good. Yeah. I have a eyebrow gun, <laughs> tooth blaster, and chest hair club. <laughs> I like tooth blaster. The gun and the blaster, yeah, they're gonna be pretty. It's, it's basically that versus the ion cannons. Well, oh, well, I mean, an anti, I yeah, anti aircraft gun. They're doing in shit. pretty impractical places. Yeah, and in the forehead, you know, like it's gonna be difficult well, I to guess aim if them. You, I guess. If you lean forward and shoot it like your cyclops, you know, like gets an ion cannon built into you. Well, chest hair and a club. What if each chest hair had a club of its own? That would be like 10 billion <laughs> And then you clubs. spin like what a if, Sonic. You. What if your power yeah. was to simply have your chest hair, but then like roll it up, like with your hands, <laughs> then it became thick enough to where it would be like a club. That's probably it. Yeah, yeah, it could grow it out a lot. I feel like the chest hair club has the most potential. I like the, the concealability of a vagina lightsaber. <laughs> chest hair club to me just sounds like a place you only get in if you have chest hair. Yeah, a chest hair club. And, and again, what if you, again, 20 blasters as soon as you smile, kill destroy your mouth. <laughs> they destroy your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah I mean, if you fired, it would blow your head off, probably. <laughs> because I'd mentioned, like, well, once you just shoot a shotgun or three blaster shots at once at a Jedi, they're, they're fucking dead because of lightsabers and the nature of points and lines. So if you had all your teeth blasters and you shot at a Jedi, if everyone just like smiled and shot a Jedi with all the blazers, then the Jedi would, oh, wouldn't yeah. be able to block them all. What if they're like Jedi Neo and they hold all of them in the middle of the air? Oh my goodness, that's super powerful. Mm -hmm. Then you shouldn't be smiling, you should be frowning. Yelling. In terror. <laughs> Rags, you can't, you can't defeat that with your vagina lightsaber. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh. Sorry, my bad. So oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I'll just flex on all of you, and you just all, we, we all die. Mola, we have to take into account the fact that this for this fight, you're you have the inconvenience of having an entire claymore attached to your shoulder. So I have to stay <laughs> away from Fring, otherwise he'll detonate us both. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think I, 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 I was I was thinking this is like the uh, the giant sword claymore, but I guess both interpretations are valid. Oh well, like I said, it's really. Whoever shoots the other one first. Quick, say say me. Me. Yeah, I, I okay. do. Okay. Quick. I, I win. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, <laughs> let's throw in Jays. Let's see what you got. The. All right. So Fringy, I'm gonna take you on with my penis rapier. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the greatest no. way to have your penis described. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Like there are there are better you know. words to have associated with it. The tooth missile launcher, that's, um, that's, it's, it's kind of like the whistling birds, a, you know? You yeah. smile and then all of your teeth fly off, but then I guess after that you're just like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Yeah, but they should hopefully be dead at that point, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, and I think of, uh, of everything I've got, the shoulder-mounted ion cannons are probably like the, yeah, like the weapon you might actually real thing. in a joke. Real thing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like the only real weapon in this whole fucking thing. <laughs> How do we determine a winner? I mean, I just, uh, it's a draw well, because I'm going to blow everyone up. Right I'm just picturing all five people in an, in an arena just awkwardly falling over, going, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best thing is that not only do we get these completely stupid weapons, we should also get like a year to train with them though. Rags, you will be the best vagina lightsaber wielder <laughs> in the land. We've already given up on my heel twin blades. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they could be useful. like. This thing, they're gonna make walking pretty difficult, but if you actually, like, manage to kick someone, you've- you've got them there. Batman and Robin have heel twin blades. They used mm. to skate around on the ice. Mmm. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, there you go. If we go Smart. to an ice planet, I can... Buckle skate up. around. Get- Whoa. I can go get diamonds. <laughs> Anus so, pike. I think we all attack each other Anus and pike. metal blows up the whole planet, and then we're all like, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Should have re-rolled again because these ones are way funnier this time. Sure, Neck sure dark then. saber, Peter siege engine, and boot turbo blaster. <laughs> Neck dark saber. <laughs> I like. I just like that it's called Boba Fett Weapon Jed. Like this is totally something he uses, you know, because he's like, "What's next for me?" And it's just like, ah. Oh. Well, I got an armpit ballista and a taint flashbang. A taint flashbang. <laughs> This one you gotta be careful with because it could hurt, you know, depending on application, but. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, get away from my foreskin. Stop it. <laughs> from, can your um, can your foreskin build up like static electricity? It never happens to I me. I assume so. I assume so. Good old episode seven. Real well made, real good. So these two images back to back. They look a little interesting, don't you think? The first one is is like oh that's gonna hit um dude who's at the front with the laser, but uh -huh. then it's like, oh it hits that guy in the back on almost his like his, his shoulder's arm but then you look at where they position it's like how did that blaster bolt sneak by you mm. see it's a weird perspective like i can't my assumption is they filmed it and that guy was hit and he fell off the thing but i don't think they quite nailed it um blocking wise and so... i think there's a lot of aspects in terms of the lasers and post of how they animate lasers onto people as they point their guns and stuff like when the when the stormtroopers are first seen on the bridge running towards the bad guys who want to die and they're like shooting like lasers are coming out of the guns but they're not really like going where the guns are pointed mm -hmm. you know it's just sort of like yeah. yeah i think this guy was killed and then the guy who had to animate the laser was like how the fuck did that laser hit him like because it had to it would have had to have hit this guy and then they had to choose between making it go to his left or his right, and I think if he had gone left, we'd all be like, what the fuck, how is that even possible? So, has it get as close to this guy's arm as you could possibly imagine, and then it sort of uses the power of 2D, oh. 3D transition to just sort of move to the left and, and go behind, but it doesn't necessarily look that way when you watch it quickly. Yeah. You know how Fennec is uh, the sniper lady? She's got all of them shooting at her. They even shoot mortars at her and, and the turret is shooting at her. And you know for a fact that sequence where she's getting the turret shot at her, that's like she's getting lucky again and again and again and again and again that she's not dying. And once they get to the point where it's impossible for them to not kill her, they tell her they don't want to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> they throw in like, like I assume... We, we just want the, we want the child. That's all we want. Give yourself up. We don't want you. We want the child. I think the only reason they have that line in there is because they filmed it really awkwardly where everybody, it was just, it's too much. Like everyone would be like, okay, why isn't she dead? Like they're everywhere. And so they were like, we don't want you. We want the kid. I don't understand why the fuck they wouldn't shoot her. Like that's not good enough. I don't even know what throw a leg you could have for that. Maybe like we want to capture But once you've tried to kill her for that long throughout the whole episode, I don't think you, th there's nothing you can do. I think you might, might consider it plot armor, you know? There's not much of that in the show, though, so it's fine. Uh, no, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Stop nitpicking. When she was dodging the, uh, the laser fire, she doesn't just go to the other side of the rock she's on. She just runs in a straight line. Like she Looney, runs along the... Looney Tunes yeah, she style. runs along the crest of the, yeah, ridge. All she had to do was just go one meter behind her, and then she's throwing. Yeah, just prone. Go prone. Alcatraz arms. Do, do, do. One moment. Can you leave that full long silence in the recording? <laughs> no. I can tell about how I uh, got a little package from work. They sent us some mulled wine, and I was very upset because it was alcohol-free one. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So I did the only reasonable thing and put rum in it. <laughs> That's my story for today. Good story. Those transport vehicles in episode 7, they're called Juggernauts. The one that our lads are in is referred to as Juggernaut 5. They are the fifth mm. one that day, apparently. That, at least you could possibly infer that. And uh, that means they only lost four in that whole day. Could be worse, but I, I was just thinking about how my mind went to like possibly as much as like 50 or some shit when they first got there, because like, you know, what are the odds of them arriving and deciding to, to you know steal these transports when they'd only started in the last like 20 minutes uh, <laughs> and the, they, they were number five I just I don't know there's something there in terms of just the whole episode is so goofy of course you have that they're like specifically designed to transport by the looks of things and um, not only do they have no locks on what their cargo is but also the cockpit but also like they explode if they go too fast like why would they even have the potential to go fast enough to explode their own cargo wouldn't the speed just be capped mechanically to prevent the drivers from blowing themselves up i don't know you think the volatility meter would in some way time yeah. mechanically with i don't know whatever it's whole episode is yeah really like, ridiculous. I, I don't have an issue that they go faster than the cargo can hold it's more that they should have a safety mechanism for that kind of cargo yeah gotcha once that red bar starts to show and it gets red it like automatically applies the brakes or won't let you go any faster or there's something to try and desperately make this mode of transportation for this kind of cargo work 
In in the sense, of yeah. it's like if you carry on, you will die. Please don't. <laughs> the the only up. thing that happens is when when the meter reaches the red, a little voice comes out saying, "If you carry on, you will die. Please don't. <laughs> Please. Please mind your speed." There's a reason to live, John. It's like mm. <laughs> I'm a John. I'm Bill. So just disparate piece of information, right? You got grenades <laughs> and hover vehicles yeah. that like outclass the Empire's vehicles. But then also, no armor, no guns, also sticks, while they're not collecting any weapons, resources, or, or vehicles from the Empire's they attack, they just want to detonate them, basically. Yes, all of that, thermal detonators and no blasters at all. That's, it's, that's all of it's so strange. Strange, yeah. Have you thought about the penis rapiers? Yeah. And so this this one's a big collection, right? You got um, they're going to be throwing grenades at the vehicle in the recording. I think Metal's like just close the cover if the cover requires being opened for them to blow up the thing. Then throwing them from the transport's not going to do anything. Um, but there's yeah. a couple of options here. They fail one way or another, right? So that's they would fail if that were the case. But what if they're throwing the grenades just to blow up the bridge to prevent the vehicle from going home? And it's like, wait, why didn't they just do that anyway? Why haven't they yeah. blown up the bridge? If they think that the bridge being blown up will prevent any more of the transports getting in, it's like, oh, it seems like they should have rigged that to blow all blown it up anyway. But um, I don't buy the throwing a grenade and having it blown up wouldn't destroy the vehicle when going slightly faster seems yes. to basically blow them up. Like, why wouldn't a grenade going off real close just fuck it up? But then again, TIE Fighter blasts that have fire that literally seem to, like, partially cover the vehicle doesn't do anything, so... Yeah. Bill Burr said don't fire that blaster near here because of the cargo. Are you seriously shooting a blaster near Rhydonia? He's very concerned about it, yeah. Yeah. And when he saw all the fire surrounding him from the TIE Fighters, he was like, Woo! <laughs> Woohoo, yeah. He somehow didn't die. Hard to, hard to trace the stakes and, and actions. Yeah, especially with the amount of grenades they have. Like, there's this shot later on where, they, where every single one of them has a grenade in their hands. And like, they uh, all arm their grenades. When they, came, when they come through the smoke. And they, like, all arm their grenades, even. It's like, that's dangerous, but okay. And I would like to highlight that as much as we complimented the TIE Fighters actually mattering and, you know, shooting well, the first two shots they, they throw in, not only, like, what the fuck were you aiming for, but they <laughs> honestly could have just blown Bill Burramando up by accident, and it would be like, no, that'd be silly. It's like, they didn't. Episode 4, so... <laughs> like, they fucking kill each other all the time. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I don't think we, we talked about it, because I don't think we, we really knew what the fuck they were even grabbing, but um, they're pretty explicit. They're getting Gideon's coordinates for his ship from the uh, terminal. Wait, so, can ships okay. move? Well, so, that's what I, that my question's gonna be. If ships move... Which I believe they do. Allegedly. Yeah. Feels like they're not going to be useful coordinates unless they constantly update. Yeah. If the base wasn't destroyed, then wouldn't the stormtroopers in the base be like, what the fuck happened? They'd be like, so it all started in the cafeteria. And if you look at security footage, it'll show that the people who did it first, they went to a terminal. And if you find out what they downloaded, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Because it would be a record, I imagine. And then you'd be like, oh I mean, shit. I mean, you, you would imagine that in the logical world, <laughs> but... Well, this is Star Wars world, and they probably don't even know. They, they probably have it designed where once you download it, it's no longer on that computer. Now you have it. <laughs> you have it. It's yours Take now. now. Wait, Molly, you said in, in the cafeteria, what you meant to say was in the cafeteria slash sensitive information storage room. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was full. It's actually full of like imperial brownie recipes <laughs> and, and a great, like, you know, peach cobbler recipe. Yeah, also Moff Gideon's starship location and the schematics for his, his death ship. Yeah, the drop down menu has all of those and then Gideon's ship coordinates. You're like, that's yeah. weird that you've got that here. And I'll throw yeah. spiced apple crumble, well, but you know. That, yeah. The terminal is also a coffee maker. So you go, yeah, it's you, one of those Keurig things. It. Yeah. You're like, oh, fancy an espresso. I'm would you like tired. a coffee? Up, also, would you like to know the location of Moff Gideon's starship? <laughs> and if you want to do While either of those things, you have to have a face. Yeah, because no it's. For droids. Uh, the specific information is you have to be on the Republic Registry. If you're on the Republic Registry, then you will be denied access to Empire terminals. So, how do they have the information of whose faces you know registered with the republic how how is that an updating list like how do they get they hack, that they, they hack the mainframe okay they ha so they hacked the mainframe i think i could buy that if it was like 
a vending machine <laughs> or something, but like, why sensitive information? Why? Why would that be the only thing stopping you? It's fucking dumb. Also, it's really stupid that if you scan once, like, incorrectly, or even in a way that the scanner doesn't recognize a face, it will automatically shut down and set alarms off in 10 seconds if you don't correct it yourself. Seems a bit crazy. Seems a bit like mm. they're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Show your face, man, do I better do it quick? It's like, uh, uh. Also, they're relying, I guess, on Gideon being in Gideon's ship. And I know that's like, that sounds, why wouldn't he be? And it's like, I don't know, he just, he might not be. <laughs> like, he could be, he could be on another ship. I don't know. He might buy, he might be flying a TIE fighter around. What if he went to another planet, landed, and the ship went off somewhere, and he just carried on doing his experiments? It would be so fucking lame if he yeah, they maybe, got to maybe a ship. Maybe he doesn't live there. Yeah. So what if like he was on another planet really hacking like the mainframe? <laughs> This is something we, we talked about outside of episode, but Bill Beer, when finding out he has to help him get Moff Gideon's coordinates, he, he like immediately says, okay, send me back to jail, lol. We need coordinates for Moff Gideon's cruiser. <laughs> yeah, forget it. Just take me back to the scrapyard, I'm not doing that. The very <laughs> thought of doing that is like, absolutely not. And he said he, like, he would rather just rot in jail, basically. And Mando says he's doing it to save Baby Yoda. And so Bill Beer's like, okay, I'll do it if you let me go. I help you guys get him back, you guys let me go. And already it's like, oh wow, that, that was quite a change of, okay. All right, Ted. Yeah. And then um, they say no, and but you'll have a nicer view. And he goes, okay. You get a better view. I... That to me is just like, whoa, so that's just three different... <laughs> the deal changed like, Are you three terrified times. Are you for your life or not? Yeah, it's... I'm altering the deal. Fred did just... not alter it further. Fred, yeah, Fred did not alter your view further from prison. I feel like we'll talk about it at some point, but like dialogue in this season's been uh, a, a special kind of bad. Like not the typical stuff we talk about, more so just uh, I don't think they have a strong grasp on how conversations move on. Like they just sort of change. I guess there's a reason they only had like a couple of pages of script and then uh, Rodriguez, yeah. I was like, oh, that's that's a bit weak. <laughs> I guess I'll do action scenes. Yeah, action! I've seen a couple people have been taking strong issue with our labeling of the black light say black dark saber as the edge saber. Some people uh, find it a fun nickname. Some people are like, "Wow, that's not even a criticism," and they're very it's upset like at us. I've got dark I've got a comment saber. here. Listen to it, dark saber. No, no. What if it was Shut like up, a light saber, awesome. but it was made of like. Dark. No, you guys don't understand, okay? So, like, I, I saw a conversation on, I think it was... Shadow Saber. Uh, part, <laughs> part four or five, I don't even remember which one this was on, but someone was just like, this is fucking lame that they're saying that all the time, and they don't even substantiate the criticism. And then someone else is like, oh, I didn't... I thought it was, like, really obvious what they're trying to say. And the guy was like, well, what? And then he goes, okay, so let me, let me ex answer the question with a story. And he was like, when I was 16 and I was writing Warcraft fanfiction, I invented the ultimate destructive spell of darkening. It's lightning, but black. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, huh? well, there you go. <laughs> I think that sums up the, uh, yeah. It's a lightsaber, but black. It's so fucking cool. But there's lots of lore that you guys don't understand that kind of makes sense. Uh, sorry, I'm not talking about the dark saber. I'm talking about the, the darkening, the black lightning. It, it, it actually makes sense if you think about how the lightning's so strong, it pulls the light into it, and it makes it black, so when it strikes people and it- I and think, uh... I think that's my favorite part. And no, if you actually think about it, it you look at the law, okay? Like, it's <laughs> no, 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 guys, it totally, it totally makes sense, guys. It totally makes saber. sense. <laughs> it just so happens that it's the coolest thing ever, and my OC has it as his weapon. <clears throat> it's like when you were playing pretend, and it's like, oh, no, you can't get me. I've got the edgy saber, and it blocks all of the your The dark attacks. saber makes yeah, well, people I have die. Anti -edgy saber armor. Oh, yeah, well, I have anti-armor armor. Oh, yeah, well, I have... Oh, <laughs> I'm an I'm a rockets on my knees so that go straight for your armor and disables it. I have an anti-knee rocket armor. Shit. Well, man. I have a penis rapier. Oh, no. <laughs> a vagina laser, go. <laughs> I have a nostril saber. <laughs> I just reopened the thing and it came... I just reopened the thing and it gave me a foreskin bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna stand a chance against my spleen mortar. Ugh. Is that... Does that happen inside or does it come out of the body first, the spleen? Hmm? How does it just that work? kills you. Yeah, if it if it launches a mortar from your spleen, does it just hit you? Yeah, it launches it launches so you spleen. Just blow up your superpowers <laughs> blow up. No, 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 no. It's a mortar that shoots spleens. 
Oh, okay. So <laughs> you just have a bunch imagine of what, around. <laughs> Smack it into your helmet. And see, we just need a few alterations to bring this back to what we were just talking about. You have a, a mortar that shoots like black hearts, and if it hits someone, they get depressed and kill themselves. It's like, oh, that's so fucking awesome. And you're like, oh. That's the kind of weapon I would expect to see in like Rick and Morty. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's it's it, it straddles the line between edgy and like. So edgy, it's funny. Oh, how'd you make the, the dark saber? Edgy? Also, guys, there's just a lot of banter in these things as well because we're having fun. Wait, who said that? Oh, huh? I'll, I'll yeah. take my leave. What if you had like a fire dark saber and it was like a dark saber, but it was themed with fire and it it's had called like a fire on it. Dark Faber. Faber. <laughs> so fucking right. cool. Let's combine dark, dark and Faber. De Faber. De Faber. De Faber. Hey, oh, hello. named hey, after Emperor Vibra. King D. Uh, apostrophe Weber, who was like the oldest Sith who created Siths. Whoa, the oldest Sith. The first Sith ever. He made the rule of three, and then someone else was like, I prefer the rule of two, which is really gay. Rule of three is way better. <laughs> I prefer, yeah, I prefer the rule of cool. You try to make an edgy dark saber, and you just have a dark saber that says Dude, the N-word. Steve Faber, he shot black <laughs> lightning out of his hands. The, the N-word word saber. And if it hit you, <laughs> and you survived, you'd kill yourself from depression. See, it all comes full circle. Uh -huh. So, uh, when that episode starts, their plan is to just assault the base, but then Boba Fett's like, we can't do that because of anti-aircraft guns. I have anti-aircraft cannons protecting it. And a platoon of security forces. So we go in quiet. And then, in the episode, when Boba Fett comes to collect them because they fucked up and everyone's trying to kill everybody, they just have the sniper shoot the two guys on the one anti-aircraft gun to prevent that from getting in the way. Yeah. It's like, oh, I mean, <laughs> that was all that was? Okay. Not a lot. Feels like Boba probably could have shot them. <laughs> He's just with his, his. Hey, sniper lady, can you go down there and shoot these two or four people while we fly in? Cool. Thanks. Be, that episode's probably the best example of. All right, we need to kill this guy. Let's let's use a club. And you're like, any other ideas? Like club. Okay. <laughs> club. I guess we're doing that. That's the uh, that's the plan. Let's do it. Club. This is like a small thing, okay. but it's amusing because we were just talking about the, the lasers and stuff. And I think this is another example of the CGI person who did this was just like, I don't fucking, I guess, like, I, just, I have to do it this way. From one angle, Bill Burr and, and Mando are coming up on one side of the building where the snipers also are. And then when they come up and the camera angle switches to them coming over the side, there's a stormtrooper running toward them. And the stormtrooper gets shot in the back, which is a literal, like, like 180 of where the snipers would have to be to be able to shoot him from that angle. Yeah. Oh. So it's just a mystery. <laughs> People who made the show, they realized that most people don't give a shit about like stuff, so it doesn't. It didn't matter. They could, they could have shot themselves. It wouldn't have mattered. Rex, it's Boba Fett. It's Boba Fett. He's so fucking cool. He has his his bombs okay. that go uh, quiet. They have the power to stop the soundtrack, and then they explode. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine if, like, Bill Burr tries to get some transport, he's picked up because he's a wanted... So, Well, maybe not because I guess they confirm his death or something, but if he gets picked up by the Republic in any way, shape, or form ever again, wouldn't they just be like, Hey, Kara, didn't you say he died? Didn't you confirm that he died? What, what's that about? Well, yeah, he was in the facility when it exploded. I have no idea oh, how so he weird. survived. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. So I just assumed he, has he was a, dead. He has a robot body now. Oh, man. Dude, he, I love it the burned idea. All of, burned uh, all his hair off. She, she ends up on like a <laughs> tribunal or something, and Leia is there. Like, what? What was this? It's like, you you abducted a prisoner for your own means. You blew up an empire base, kind of, but also he died. Your um, Honor, it was for my own memes. That's totally memes. different. <laughs> abducted a prisoner for my own memes. I don't even know how the Republic would judge this. Memes. They should be like, that was probably wrong. <laughs> like, you probably shouldn't have like, done that. Well, uh, they'd probably be asking, like, why did we let her do this? Yeah, who is she again? It's like, she signed up, like, yesterday. I don't know. Shouldn't you be in prison for multiple life sentences? <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, and yeah, I guess the only other thing was Watto saying that, um, you know, we had a problem with this in Phantom Menace anyway. When he said that Republic credits are useless in Tatooine, he needs something more real. When a Tatooine's established as a place where, like, all kinds of people come in and out all the time, there's no way there wouldn't be a, yeah. a currency exchange would totally exist on Tatooine. But Tatooine is sublight speed travel away from two other planets, one of which is uh, a planet where credits are used widely to not only, you know, just for everything that happens there, but also, uh, Repairing Mando's ship he uses credits, and I think it's important to note that Watto will not accept Republic credits during the height of the Republic's power but when they were all... the dominant force in the galaxy by far. However, these people in the Mandalorian they accept Imperial credits when the Empire is defunct, and, and it's also been like five years since yeah. they fell. So, um, yeah, so, Qui-Gon yeah. when he was like, "We should go to a particular planet," if they'd chosen the the water 
fish people planet, you might have been better off. You could have landed and been like, repair this for a thousand credits, and the fish guy was like, oh, yeah. I would even throw in a fishing net and for the queen. <laughs> would you like a pirate theme? And qui -Gon's like, not really. Yes, <laughs> no, we will have it. All right. Cheers, though. <laughs> they replace the, the steering wheel is like a, like a big wooden wheel. <laughs> <laughs> like on like the, the proper ship. Yeah. We've installed a poop deck. <laughs> I'll collect comments of interest on other videos, including this one, ready for when we eventually do some form of a podcast. Any, I guess, I was going to say any predictions, but I... It's going to be a lot of dead stormtroopers. Agreed. Oh, oh, I think we knew that already. Um, <laughs> the, the thing dark troopers are going to get environment killed. Uh, dark, the dark troopers are going to get fucking murked. I don't know who's going to do it, but they're going to get fucked up. Stormtroopers getting mowed down in a gray hallway. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's funny. I don't question at all that that's going to happen at least once in this episode. There's just no way it won't. There's going to be a hallway. There's going to be a bunch of heroes. Oh. There's going to be a bunch of Stormtroopers. Yeah. Boom, Stormtroopers. I have an idea. How about we all guess how many times Mando gets shot and see who's closest? Oh, shit. I like that. Um, I'm going to go Actually, with a conservative he, five. If he gets shot at all... You know what? I Surely he's, he's in his best car. He'll be in his best car, so he'll be shot again. I'm gonna, Last I'm episode, gonna... he wasn't shot at all because he wasn't wearing his best car. Yeah. Even though I'm in the episodes gonna... before that, he was shot like 50 times. 30. All right. Wow. Oh, that's that's a lie. That's a lie. Wow. I have yeah. finale and he's going to tank loads of shit. <laughs> that's higher than I episode think gonna... three. Wait. I think, he's, I think there's going to be a scene where he's like having an emotional moment and he takes his helmet off and then he puts his helmet by the side of him somewhere and the stormtrooper sneaks up and shoots the helmet instead of him. <laughs> <laughs> head down there. <laughs> All right. What are the but, um, we going? I'm going to go with 10. He Rams shot 10 times. Ten. I'll go oh. with... I feel like uh, the writers got it out of their system. So I'll say eight. I'll say eight times. And Fringy. Mm. Shall I be so bold to say that he'll get shot once, but this time it'll actually hit him, like, somewhere? Oh, oh. all right. I don't Ooh, want to put oh, wow. hit. Yeah, so we got Never 1, 5, 8, here. 10, and 30. I feel like one of us will be close. I, I reckon that's going to yeah. happen. The only other uh, prediction that I think that is definitely happening is going to be the uh, the spear versus the dark saber duel. That's, uh, oh, yeah. I, think oh, that's, uh, I would bet yeah, on um, that uh, if if I could. I, I, that's something that I think is going to happen. I'm going to predict that in, in an episode of incredible smugness, the villain will be called Scoff Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I got. All right. <laughs> like, genuinely exciting here. Let us begin yeah. the finale yeah, for Mando right. Season 2. And then we can decide whether or not this or Season 1 is the worst. <laughs> Even though I think we already thought that Season 2 is worse. But, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's, yeah. It's Maybe this will fix it. Maybe, yeah. Maybe this will fix it. Uh, what, if he, what if he gets on a horse and he's Moff Giddy up? <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, audience. Fuck you, you, audience. You know what, you know what I noticed about that? This is going to annoy them so much. I've seen when we have the opening discussions, people be like, get to the episode, get to the... No. No. <laughs> no. You know, they can scroll to the point where... <laughs> no, the not in the premiere. Sure. It's the premiere. Premiere this. Premiere this. Of course, I premiere the, the people in the premiere chat are like, fuck you, get to the episode right now. It's like, <laughs> I see you. I see you over there. You're so angry. Yeah. Right. Watch the fucking episode yourself. Countdown from 50. 50. 49. 48, 47, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, you know what I'll do? 1, go! Oh my god. Ah, Monopoly. Something. Ew, previously on. I guess we'll just talk. Oh no, oh. they're coming back. So yeah, we got the Mandalorians coming. Oh, oh they're gonna come back. Ooh, maybe Ahsoka will come back. Who knows? We might get the whole crew back together for the final. Wow, which boring character will make a return? <laughs> When they did the um the conference thing, she Kathleen Kennedy said like all these TV shows are gonna have a culminating story event. Like it's gonna it's be like, like it's, oh, yeah. Crisis it's on the Infinite Star Wars Earth. cinematic universe. I can't believe they're finally yeah. making one. A uh, Crisis on Infinite uh, Earths. That's what I just said. Yeah. That's what? Just, uh, imagine on infinite Tatooines, all right. <laughs> imagine infinite being Tatooine. excited to see Ahsoka Tana in your show, and she's just a boring cunt. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's also a little bit miserable, but hey. Ah, oh, Lucasfilm, like the sign stop. of quality. Oh, man. I'm so ready to see what happens. Let's go. So Marvel. I, oh, man. My excitement is palpable. Wow, Wait, wow, the wow, logo wow. is really ugly. No, wow. Racism. Wow. The, the title card is all right, but the little, like, CGI faces with the light on them. Hey, I'm Kylo Ren in it. Oh, my God. We're right in. 
Oh, Jesus. Man, we're starting off. How are you oh, missing him? him? Oh, my goodness, it's Dr. Pershing. They found him. Wait, but I thought they were finding Gideon's cruiser. Those I guys guess? are leading. This leading is just... to steer that ship. How do you miss? How have you missed so many shots? Why have you stopped shooting? Oh, he's only now locked on. Locked on. I'm getting really fucking tired of this shit with the... Like, they, they lock on after a million shots miss. Yeah, only I and Ken them. Yeah, but he could have done that to begin with, right? Yeah, I know, I know. They're pirates. Shouldn't we fight? I don't have a death wish. Do you? They want to live. Wow. No, he just, he just looks like, wow, that, is, that ship design doesn't look very practical. Wait, why are they <laughs> so confused? You know what boarding is, right? Fuck me. What took you so long? Look at the door. They, they look shit. very Russian. Is the kid alive? Yes. He's on the cruise. Ha, ha. Oh, no. All you had to do is not that. Easy now, okay? <clears throat> I'm not with him. We can work something. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Wow, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Clone engineer. If they find he's out, he's just gonna he's shoot dead. you in the head and you'll be done. Because That's how this works. Man. They're just gonna shoot you yeah, in the head and you'll be dead. He's like, go away or I'll shoot this guy and blame you guys. You want to know what else I saw? I saw your planet destroyed. They really? mentioned this for five right seconds now? in one other episode. Why are they banking so hard on this? You think you're funny? Do you know how many millions were killed on those bases? Drop it. This guy's Drop really getting us like as the galaxy little, little temers of fame and <laughs> yeah. Destroying your planet was a small price to pay to rid the galaxy of terrorism. Ah! Oh. Of course, that's what you Sorry, should. This you is what always happened. What happens. you were gonna yeah. do in the first place? What, what, what? was the point of that? <laughs> Also, wow, his helmet is more shiny than usual. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 the galaxy of terrorism. Does he not it, know, like, what happened historically after that? Yeah, yeah it, did, it like, didn't work out. The, yeah, <laughs> didn't, yeah. didn't work out at all. <laughs> not seen Star Wars. I like how the one pragmatic trooper who's like, yeah, I don't want to die or anything. And, like, this dude's kind of crazy here with the gun and everything. He just instantly <laughs> dies. I'm like, I love okay. that his threat was that it'll be known that you guys killed this guy who's a high-value clone engineer. It's like... But they're trying to kidnap how... him anyway. Like, why would... <laughs> what the yeah. fuck do they care? How would they even find out? Yeah, I, it's, that scene was weird, but that was, whatever. Yeah. Also, how did they find him? I'm confused why... Yeah, why did they find him and not the cruiser? I'm, I'm lost already. Why do they need Dr. Pershing? Where are they going now? I guess we're gonna... Oh, sweet. What shithole is this? <laughs> how did they find oh, them? There they are. How they find oh, them? hey, it's them. How, do they have contacts? I mean, maybe they have an email. Oh. <laughs> I need your help. Not all Mandalorians. Her hair is stupid. Hunters. They took the child. Oh, good. Yeah. I don't care. Why do you give a shit? Why do they all care about Why, why do they care? She wants the dark saber, so she'll want Moff Gideon, right? Let's get out of you. Never said I was. I didn't know sidekicks were allowed to talk. <laughs> all These characters are witless. To finish, <laughs> I'm here. Easy there, little one. You'll be talking about the like, This, this doesn't right, easy, work because Boba thanks. Fett's way cooler than any fucking yeah. character in this. His cool you know, factor actually have... drowns these people. What is up with this braided hair X on your forehead? I told yeah. you, the hair is That's dumb, and you probably so thought I was referring stupid. to both of them. <laughs> I thought you were referring to Bo Katana. <laughs> the Empire turned that planet to glass. You are a disgrace to your armor. The Sama belonged oh. to my father. Don't you mean your donor? Why not just say, yeah, he was, yeah, I'm a clone of him. I've heard your That's voice. That's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. Yeah. Peter right. ass. <laughs> what? Peter <laughs> ass. What? Uh, what? How the fuck did that what? just happen? How? How is she stronger than you? What? <sighs> oh, look, she did a wrestling move. Because she's what? a wrestler. What? <laughs> what? That's not how fire works. How did she possibly pull him with her arm like that? That does When he's got both of his arms on the... And he's... he's... And also, he's much bigger than her. He's yeah, Django like, he's fought like now. Like, he, dude. He's, he's strong and he's big. Like, he, how, did, how did she do that? <laughs> so did they not arrange to be here together? Did they just bump into each other, or...? I don't yeah. know how they found them, but they did. Gideon has a weapon that once belonged to me. It is an ancient weapon that can cut through anything. Almost anything. It cannot cut through pure Vascar. So it's I not a know. Desert Eagle. Can it cut it's through another Dark Saber? <laughs> can the Edge Sabers cut each other? Cut <laughs> Help me rescue the child, and you can have whatever you want. They arbitrarily find them. Also, for some reason, they've been searching for the Dark Saber exclusively, right? And it's Mando's like, oh, by the way, I can get you it. 
Yeah. In the old days, it would carry a crew of several hundred. Now it operates with a tiny fraction of that. Your assessment. Oh, is you could have taken seven hundred. Oh, great. Uh, it yeah. matter. Your assessment is misleading. Oh, great. An objective opinion. You say an objective opinion. There's a garrison. Of dark <laughs> yeah. she did. These are third generation design. The human inside was the final weakness to be solved. Was that him saying that the the super troopers like they're good because there's no more human? That's a mechanical say in the the faction that beat the one that was all droids. Not to mention yeah, that right. like yeah. years from now you have an army of humans, not droids. Yeah. yeah. So world building wise. <laughs> and the first order decided no actually they're wrong abducted children <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's where it's the at. robots were the final weakness Casca, fennec dune myself disembark with maximum initiative and me once we draw a crowd you slip through the shadows get the kid those dark troopers they're gonna be a real skank in the scud pipe i don't know what that means yeah, but probably not <laughs> real skank in the scud pipe yes <laughs> here Take his coat cylinder and seal off their holding bay. He's got a thing that seals off their holding bay? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. I was thinking about sinking a skunk pile or whatever it was. So they're using the ship they've Wait. taken from when they captured the dudes, but that ship they should found now... That. Yeah. They should know that's been captured now. So they're just like... Tr Pershing's just traveling with those two dudes just around and they <laughs> got found by yeah. these... Are he heroes, was incredibly valuable, and they had Baby Yoda, so of course he would have just been on the ship studying it. Exiting hyperspace in three. Wasn't there a third one in their team? Yeah, there was. Oh, your hair is so Bitch with the X forehead. <laughs> ah, see, it's oh. I mean, all they have to do is just check clearance, right? Yeah, just ask them for clearance and they're fucked. Request received. Launch TIE fighter. Motherfucker, you were told by Mando personally that he's coming to you. Ask them for clearance. Oh, wow, so they do deploy TIE fighters when they're needed. Interesting. <laughs> ask them for clearance, though. Are they gonna fly in the TIE hole? I think they're flying in the TIE... But also, how are they missing Slave 1? Hmm... <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, don't stand there. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, you need to... Oh no, is that gonna be it for Boba? Oh, now I guess we should move, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that CGI was bad! How do you miss? It's so big! Oh. Man, okay. like it was nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh, but no, come back. Oh, no. Whoa. I'm not gonna get my Boba Mando. Uh, yeah, yeah. And here we go. Why would you do no, that just instead of shooting shoot him? What? Hit him with your gun. What you I guess he's done. Okay. Whoa, that one had his oh, hands up. Can't... Damn. The kills are better if you get more cool points. So, Gideon, lock everything down. Oh, doing is this is oh my goodness. It's just dumb. This is actually <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> They're making weird noises. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very rhythmically though. What the? Why did he bring the Beskar uh, spear? Oh. oh, yeah, okay. I completely okay. agree. Oh. There is there's yeah, exactly. no reason. Exactly, that's why he did yeah, right. yeah, but I'm wondering, like, what in universe? They're like, Mando, is that a spear? He's oh, God, guys. <laughs> oh, God, we're getting to hallways soon. Come on now, uh. you can do it. Probably. Dude, but. I love that these two just get ditched by the bad dude Shoot. 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 Ooh, that's that's good thing they didn't try. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How come you're using your pistol instead of your machine gun that you have on your back, Kara? Like, one of those things <laughs> is not all together. If she had a water pistol, she'd be fine. Come on, Rex. We all know this. She's... That's right. We're heading to the now. I, I mean, you what? saw him. Why are you yeah, even hiding? It's two him. stormtroopers. <laughs> also, he... what if there was more behind him? You wouldn't have even noticed. Oh, no. I don't see Why do they take so long to fucking get going? Yeah, it seems like technology's downgraded because the droids in like episode one deploy pretty quick. They remind, they remind me of the evil Emperor Zerg from Toy Story 2. Oh. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. The eyes. <laughs> I'm really curious how effective what the, they are. What was he? The what was he looking? What? <laughs> it was oh, jeez. Uh, uh, are so shit.
They're like, you said, they're like kindergartners. They don't know what's going Oh, why would you even do that? Wow. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on over here? Did she just, oh judge, my God. That? Did she just judge that? Yeah, why don't any of them shoot? None of them shoot. Why would you shoot? Why would you shoot? They just have Dude. to shoot. Oh boy. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm hard. <gasps> it's a droid. I hate those. I hate those. Oh, that wait, no, droid is a killer. <laughs> you should probably kill that droid if you trust it. Don't try to murder uh, baby. Uh, it is just killing stormtroopers. Oh, a gun jam. Yeah, 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 again. Two, two jams in two episodes. Oh God, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You're pointing your gun at me. You, it may be jammed, but you shouldn't point jammed. the gun at her anyway. We have two jamming guns in a row. <laughs> Twice! That'd be real love for I. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, Look they did it they are. Island. Oh, it didn't keep the door open. Oh, Thank you. Have to fight one. Oh no. Dude, okay. what, wait, what is their armor made of? Here. What are that made out of? Oh. That's not... Dude, Mando's dead. He's dead. That's it. The robot's got you in his fucking gr You're dead. What? What? What is uh. going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's punching him through the hull. <laughs> Oh, it's edgy oh, now! Can... He's made it edgy! He made it angry, oh my yeah. god! Why did it throw him? It had him! <laughs> what are you doing, man, though? Come on! Man, so that's so CGI. Confused. God. Just... Oh my god, it keeps oh, throwing him. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 Wait, what's that three? Three to five. Oh my god, it's immune oh, to well, wasting birds. Yeah. Oh. I knew he used the spear. You can stab it with a spear. <laughs> was it the, uh, you're, five, you're, you're, you're crazy robots. What? Uh, what? Come uh, on! on. No. They're gonna surprise Dude. attack now. You Wait, don't know yeah. They hang are. on. They have. They, they fly. They can fly they and they're fly. robots. Yeah. You saw them do it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just this is insane. It's a joke. It's like an actual joke. This fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? We have oh, this super <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you no stakes. That's that's it. That's wow. no stakes. Why? Well, that's not very Why? clever. Um, how about you, oh, no. How about pick up oh, a no. weapon I one of these stone troopers are killing? Okay. Oh no, I have my- I've broken Why? my Take face. Weapon. Wait, did Mando's pick up his weapon? Did pick up his <laughs> weapon. I showed it so clearly. Did Mando yeah. break his gun? Oh no, here we go. Okay. Take Shoot him with your gun. Oh, look at his cute little baby things. Can fit his hands through there. I'm yeah, just gonna be honest. Oh, look how edgy that is. Slowly. The kid is just fine where he is. Mesmerizing, isn't it? Assume that I know everything. Like the fact that your wrist launcher has fired its one and only salvo. What? Where is this going? This. He fired all of them? How do you know that? And how could you have banked mm. on that? That Bo Katan and her boarding party have arrived at the bridge. But I'm not there. Yeah, I know. And I imagine, Rich. <laughs> what? And I imagine that they've killed everyone on the bridge, being the murderous savages that they are. And how retarded my troopers what? are. And now, whoever wields this sword has the right to lay claim to the Mandalorian throne. I just want Why? To it's like Excalibur? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Edge Excalibur. Oh, so they're just gonna I trade. Got what I want. All I wanted was to study his blood. You say that like that's totally like. Chill. <laughs> cool. This one is blood. Potential to bring order back to the galaxy. Yeah, but you guys have a weird idea about order. Your order involves like destroying your own people and blowing up planets. It's yeah. really not. But you will leave my ship immediately, and we will go our separate ways. Is he gonna betray him and try to hit Mando? And the best in their pocket? Yeah. Wow. Told wow. You. Wow. Okay. Dude, how do you not know that he's covered in Beskar? Do these count as shots? Sorry. Dude. I think it's fair to count these as shots, yeah. Oh, In which case, we're already up to I, I, Hey, we got, there we go, we got it. Yeah. 
<coughs> we Dude, knew this it. Is so, this is so fucking cool. Why are you hail Why are you holding it by that side? It's so edgy, man. <laughs> Dude, this this is the coolest fight in Star Wars, I'd say. Oh, he's gonna get to wield the dark saber, isn't he? That's gonna be the. I wouldn't. I why wouldn't is, be surprised. Why is the spear stunning to glow? Did you train in like how to use the spear? Yeah, hey, I don't hey, know. Hey, you know what'd be really, that. really good to use on this guy while you're Flame fighting? Throw? The flamethrower. A blaster. What's he gonna do against the flamethrower? Why didn't you stab him while yeah. he was? Did he catch that? Is he the also, fucking Mulan? You know, Gus could have won this fight the whole time. It's so easy when you have the lightsaber against someone without a lightsaber. You're sparing my life. Well, this should be interesting. Sparing your life. I like this is you're sparing my oh, life. It's like I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. He, he already tried to backstab you once. I guess it's going to be for Bo Katana benefit. Fight. Yeah, it'll be for. But the Dark Troopers, you're right. They're going to come back and spring him. Mando's holding the Dark Saber. Whoa. Oh, God. Are we going to get conflict? So long? Why is she upset? <clears throat> because now Mando gets to be King of England. <laughs> he brought him in alive. That's what happened. And now the New Republic's going to have to double the payment. That's not what you're <clears throat> talking about. Something's wrong. Why don't you kill him now and take it? It belongs to you. Why? Huh? No, she can have it. Just I can it give it to, it to yeah, people. Oh, is there some like that you have to kill the previous owner or whatever? She can't take it. Why not? It must be one. Oh, fuck off. All right, let's play Scrabble. To... She would need to defeat you in combat. Okay, no, just have a faux really. battle. No, just, I, but, I is she really going to fight him? Have a quick that... fight. Just have even a quick... No, it's... We're pausing, okay? Oh, the only yeah. way you get the dark saber is if you defeat the last person to hold it. So question, what happens if the person holding it dies from natural causes? Then I guess nobody gets it. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> okay. Dark saber no, gets imagine, yeah, no king of magic. The natural, natural causes get it. Um, well, what if it breaks? What so, if it gets cut in half or dropped in space? Like, you can, <laughs> you can never have a king yeah, what of What if Mandalore? it's lost? What if that's someone right. just claims that that's like, oh yeah, I defeated the last guy who had this. Oh, yep. Yeah, what if, what if you're just like, all right, let's fight. And then she punches and he's like, I yield, it's yours. Yeah, <laughs> I yield, it's yours. Oh no. It doesn't work that way. That doesn't work, it's I guess. Like Wakanda, where <laughs> the oh, king God. is like combat. That's so just how we dumb. pick our Okay, so <laughs> why why is he grinning? Like he this means he's won or whatever. Just I think fight. what he's saying is that Bo Katan is gonna fight Mandalorian for real and actually try and like get the sword but, from him. I possibly. swear to God, they better not do that. That'd be so fucking stupid. But what uh, if you just give it back to Moff Gideon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you fight. What, well, what, what if, if what you if... just lie? What yeah. if you all just agree to lie and what, say, what if, yeah, no, Bo uh... God got it? What if Mando said, like, oh, I didn't fight and beat him, he just dropped it. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, I, I just brought it to her. I feel like the biggest hole in this is Mando could be like, okay, let us fight, punch me in the face. Next, and fucking then she does, next, and he goes, Ugh, and falls over. I guess over. the logic that they would use is, oh, this is not like, you know that that's bullshit, we gotta fight for real. They can, that they is... can do a fight, they can do, like, they can just throw down their weapons and have a fist fight. Like, it, it's not like it has to end in death, he's not but, killing yeah. Moff, Like, they as has been evidence with Moff Gideon, you don't have yeah. to kill him to get it. A battle of yeah. rock, paper, scissors? Uh, so just, yeah, yeah, they really, they honestly seem like they could do Scrabble. I don't see why not. <laughs> What's Mad doing, Bo-Katan playing Scrabble? <laughs> You're gonna get the scene from like Bill and Ted. Dude. Yeah, she's like, yeah. is Quoopy a word? <laughs> is Quoopy? <laughs> I want to use like my Q. <laughs> and then they end up playing like Twister. <laughs> I can't believe the drama right now is like, ah, ha, ha, you're gonna have to kill each yeah. other now because of a stupid rule. <laughs> okay. Well, alternatively, are. you could just cede the sword to Mando. Nope. Doesn't work that way, apparently, <laughs> whatever. Why, why is there not a, a condition? There should always be a condition. I just like the idea that, like, oh, I'll fight you, quote unquote. And she's like, no, 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 it has to be genuine. He goes, no, it's seriously, it'll be totally genuine. 100%, I will be genuine. I seriously, genuine, <laughs> will try to beat you. I will totally try. And she's like, you sound sarcastic. And he's like, I am not being sarcastic at all. I will totally, <laughs> totally, totally try. Not sarcastic. <laughs> 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 just... It belongs to her. Oh, every time the dog says, she can't. Yeah, she can. <laughs> so yeah, he's not allowed to yield. 
Yeah, they stupid, like, oh, no. stupid, 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 stupid. It's, it's, it's a stupid fucking rule. Like, Mando, you're king of Mandalore. Just say that's a dumb rule and it doesn't count anymore and then give it to her. <laughs> Isn't he supposed to be like the really traditionalist Mandalorian who knows about- Not really, like only selectively, but yeah. she's like super traditionalist in a different way. Man, I wish Bill Burr was here. It was like, what the Bill fuck, Bill Burr could this, yeah. Just take it, fuck. Uh-oh. -uh. What took the Doc's trooper no. so long? Yeah, what took them so long? Holy shit! Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah, the. Yeah. I don't remember the being. What, yeah, Whoa! What took them so long? Jesus Christ, that's a lot. And yeah, that shouldn't have taken them yeah, long. If they got ejected, what? then they'd be going at the same speed as the ship because of how, how physics you... works. So well, the dark saber could be useful against them, right? Yeah, that's the reason there's a hole in that area, so they could get up here. <laughs> I was wondering they why is there just a corridor with a hole to space in it? Like, that seems like an unnecessary... They're doing dubstep! They're it yeah, it's really weird in Star Wars. Are also, they, they're just like, yeah, Someone's you sit over here. Someone's keeping an eye on him! Oh, wow. Wow. Put him oh. next to this gun. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, put him next to the weapons. <laughs> oh no! Bim, bim, bim. It would be really dark if Baby Yoda like controlled Moff Gideon and made him shoot himself. That'd be that pretty dark. Long enough. Wow, oh, they no, were they nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> they would have had to punch for one minute instead of ten. Your hair is still stupid. Did you think? Your hair is still really dumb. Yeah. Mando should be like, yeah, blasters don't work against them. We need to come up with a different idea. I'm gonna have to stab them all with my spear as they come through. Like fire looks works a little bit. Throw them out the airlock and go to hyperspace. What's what are they waiting for? They're waiting for the drop. Oh. This is the solution. We're just gonna punch the door. I feel like door. that can't work. Yeah, th so that so this is the blast door? There's no way the robots are more durable than the blast door. Your blast door's no, supposed to be- they're made of blast door rags. They're made of blast, made blast of doors. Doors. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of getting but somewhere. Everyone in this room will be dead. This is the point where you shoot him. <laughs> Hold him hostage as well. Good. Yeah, that's a good point too. Use yeah. him as a shield. Yeah, shoot him in the leg oh, to show you- no. Mando, right, stop, stop poking through with your spear. Just go- He's so excited. These are my dark troopers, yes. I'm just waiting for the like the final punch just blast the whole thing yeah. open or something. Oh my god! Oh, it's Luke Skywalker okay. in his neck thing. The only information we've got to work with this would be the baby Yoda calling yeah. someone through the force, right? So Oh, just flew it flew in there. It's Yaddle! <laughs> Yaddle is in the X Wing! <laughs> Whoever's piloting the X Wing was so chill about just arriving inside an Empire cruiser. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. like alright, let's get what? here. Well I'm pretty sure that's a Jedi though, because Grogu was like, Oh, I feel something. Yeah, well yeah, because yeah. Grogu would have called them. There's a good chance that's Luke. Like, who oh, else is it going to be? It actually Damn. might fucking be. Yeah, it's definitely- it, Yes, it is. It definitely is. Is it Luke? No. It's Luke. It's definitely is Luke. It... What color is the lightsaber? It's white. It's Ahsoka Tano because it's white. No, but the Ahsoka Tano has two. I, one was- Oh, God, it's, it's yeah, Luke. Luke. It's Luke. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? I guess so. Why, why would you want to grab you? Too. He used the force. That was- Cool. <laughs> that one just walked towards him. Yeah, I just walked up to him like that. <laughs> also gloved hand. Yeah, there you go. Also, I feel like that lightsaber would have gone through that crate you just walked that, by. That, like... <laughs> Mofkin is like, come on, what? <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> shot her all in the armor. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? What? At what point do you shoot him? <laughs> yeah. All they did was put the... Wow. What? He doesn't have the electric cyanide pill then? I guess not. Baby Yoda's like, oh my god. He looks so Does competent. Does <laughs> think that Baby Yoda dies before the Force Awakens? Well, Does Kylo well. Ren kill Baby Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean... So Dark Troopers, yeah, they, they're just get, gonna get sliced down by lightsabers. That's all that's gonna happen. <laughs> He looks bored. <laughs> he's like, well, yeah, let's, with it. Right, well, let's well. get this over with. Yeah, let's have our hallway scene where Luke Skywalker kills all the now useless robots. It is, they're just doing the hallway scene again. But it's a good person hallway scene now. This yeah. is lame. I wanted this show to not have everything to do with, like, the main story. Nah, it's Luke. We're back to Luke Skywalker, everybody. Fuck, we need that fan service. <laughs> that one droid, like, ooh, that hits. <laughs> I guess Baby Yoda is just one of the, uh, the people that Kylo killed when he, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be know. hilarious. Kylo <laughs> Ren killed Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's just chilling, eating some blue <laughs> maybe, No, Maybe he's one of the Knights of Ren. You can't be sure. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> he had a growth spurt, alright? Yep. <laughs> he did. That's or, how he aged. Maybe. Oh, that is totally a Rogue One reference. Maybe Baby Yoda's like inside one of the Knights of Ren, like as a mech. Oh, how does he look? Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah, looks kind of weird. Looks it weird. looks a little weird, <laughs> yeah. It looks deep faked. Yeah, yeah, it does look deep faked, mm. actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cl no, not close. Not close up. So, like, hi. Go who on. are you? What's going on? That's who you belong. He just shows up instantly. Yeah, I'm taking the kid. This should be like I'll our season again. five finale, not our season two I ending. I don't really remember know. those like point two scenes we had together. This is just hollow. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I I feel nothing. I'm just I'm more concerned with Luke Skywalker deepfakes. Rip your rule, I guess. This is something that could be really meaningful and impactful if they earned it. Yeah, yeah I the mean, show was good. This, this would have is... made a really good payoff. Yeah. The, this scene is built upon matchsticks that are old. Yeah. <laughs> I just know what to say about that, yeah. It's a shame. You, you see <sighs> that, I mean, a lot of people are probably going fucking nuts over this and tearing up. Oh, it's time for the wheel away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just have a bobbing back and forth. <laughs> Oh. It's R2, everyone. It's R2-D2. Everyone clap. I remember oh. R2-D2. R2-D2. Come on, get C-3PO in here. Fuck it. Let's get them on here. Get <laughs> no, them. I can <laughs> enter the box. I'm the in. Fucking kid. Chewbacca. Remember R2-D2, everyone? Dude, they're really not showing Luke's face, huh? For yeah. the best. Those angles. Wow. I really enjoy this conversation. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? This is like exclusively for people who've seen Star Like this scene doesn't really match for these characters. If you have bad dreams, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> May the force be with you. He said the thing. I don't know what that means. What? You, what, what? Hey, come back. Hey. Alex, so fucking done. Now what's this show gonna be about? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, what do you do now? <laughs> Maybe we could focus on bounty hunting. Bounty hunting? Yeah, that'd be nice. Bye-bye. Gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Luke didn't ask any questions about what the fuck's even happening here. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what happened here? Who is this guy? Oh, also, I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm a Jedi. You guys are Mandalorians. So killed, let me explain a few things. I killed a lot of droids. Like, I don't know what's yeah. going on here, but whatever. Oh, can... is that- that's, oh, it. that's it! Oh, that's, that's it. it! Wow, that's it. Seriously. Based on Star Wars, yeah. The, loosely the, honestly, affiliated with Star Wars by George Lucas. <laughs> How fucking lame. This episode comes across as like, we're ending the Baby Yoda arc. And you're like, oh, okay. Also, Boba Fett was barely in it. Because if Luke saw him there, they might actually have, like, a character thing. Oh happen. my god, that would have been Jim amazing Battle for Luke Campbell. and Boba to be in the same room. Like, oh, hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, that would have been so fucking great. <laughs> oh, man, they, they wasted that. They could have had Luke and Boba Fett in the same room, yeah. and they didn't fucking do it. I can't believe it. Boom. Instead, they had R2 making beeping noises at a puppet. Which lasted a lot longer than I think should have for who these people all are. Like, they don't know anything. I can't believe that. That scene was so much, like, just creative for fans. It has nothing to do with yeah. the actual story. Yeah, like, who are you? What is your name? What's a Jedi? The Jedi and the Mandalorian stuff. Shouldn't... We still don't have any closure on the Darksaber. What's gonna happen to Moff Gideon? I... Yeah, shouldn't Luke be like, holy fuck, look at this Empire cruiser, this guy, all these dro- Like, what's going on? Is the Empire coming <laughs> like, I back? I thought I destroyed the Empire. Are they still alive? Are they still powerful? Like, is this baby Yoda here? He look. He reminds me of Yoda, who trained me. Maybe him and Yaddle had a, a little thing. Jedi Council of their own and he catch my drift. <laughs> I don't know. Like, the mechanics of this episode are all garbage, but the story of it, like, what they're going for, was just like, oh, wow, you just capped- Everything we've seen, you capped all that off with this? Okay. Uh, how underwhelming and lame. Yeah. And it, when it was in it, Rags. It was, oh, Luke Skywalker. Was like, yeah. oh, fuck, it actually is. They're actually doing that. Twin Suns is back in Tatooine. <gasps> it's Jabba's, Jabba's palace. palace. Oh, this could be Boba Fett. I guess Jabba's dead now. This is just whoever's next palace. <gasps> oh. That's, wait, Bib Fortuna's got all fat? He's fat now. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of the uh, beginning to uh, Hitler versus Darth Vader epic rap battles of history. <laughs> Here, you have an axe. Pop that guy with a gun. Yeah, he's got a gun. A Run up to a guy with a. Oh, oh you guys oh, just. You, you got nothing, huh? Good 
job, everyone. Well, if they kept She's gonna release it. No, my heart. Wow, my heart. Have more, you have more than four guards. You shot the handcuff end of that train, huh? Oh, Lol, shit. Yeah, Bo that's... Boba Fett let her go in first. <laughs> He's like, you can die. A dramatic effect, obviously. Boba! <laughs> Why, though? I'm confused about all of this. I don't know what's happening. Oh, is he going to take control? He's going to be in charge? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he wants to be in charge. Oh, yeah. dude, the fans must have coomed. It's blue juice. This is... <laughs> and a blue, it's blue, of course. <laughs> this is all for a shot. So like, so, like, but Boba, don't you need guards and stuff? So, like, he's just walked into the palace, but... Wouldn't something else happen, like... Yeah, you like... The Book of what? Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett. The, what? Is that the next show? Oh, oh it is. Coming <laughs> I guess that was a surprise. I want to... Uh, maybe hell. that show will be about Jesus. stuff. Here. 11 TV shows. I want to see the Book of Boba Fett more than The Mandalorian. Oh, totally. <laughs> what? totally. I want to see yeah. how Boba Fett is just a fucking badass crime lord leader, warlord guy. Yeah, that's yeah, because that yeah. sounds cool as shit. They're going to fuck it up, but like, it sounds cool as shit. We just found out what Boba wants outside of satisfying the deal for his armor, which is I want to take over Tatooine. Yeah, I, I, I I'm guess. fine with the idea he wants to take over and he wants power and influence and control. I was like, yeah, sure. I've been... Yeah, why not? So I want a robot spleen friend. Robot spleen friend. <laughs> That's your name. That's just what he calls it. Baby Yoda and Snoke are the only people who could force Skype across the galaxy. Oh uh, well, so you can do it if you have that stone. But he wasn't on the stone when Yoda did the contacted Luke. Yeah, because that would have led him to the planet. Is that you know what? That's what actually a good point. Like, what does does Luke just have a constant <laughs> GPS on Baby Yoda now? Yeah, because of the force. Does, does he have a fob? <laughs> but a Jedi fob. Abilities on the same level as Snoke, because he could do that. Uh, he could have people contact across the galaxy using the Force. No, we don't know how powerful Luke got. Well, this isn't so much as the receivers as it is the sender. Unless we're talking about, does Luke have the power to just track down Jedi across the galaxy who need help in his X-Wing? I think the show's saying Baby Yoda contacted him through the stone, and then when they went to the cruiser, Luke was just like able to be like, oh, you're over there now. I guess... I can die happy. Go on then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm six years old again. Yeah, it's you sound like you're six. 20K. You people will fucking clap at him. You saw a deep fake Luke Skywalker you with some lame fights against useless robots and you fucking cooned yourself. You you heard That's... R2-D2's beeping noises and you fucking yeah, I just lost it. I've been thinking about how to articulate this. Like, yeah, same. We've said this. <laughs> throughout the whole season this is all they do they dangle the fucking toys in front of you that's all they've done there's nothing substantive happening there's stuff that might trick you into thinking substantive stuff is happening like when baby yoda puts his hand on mando's actual face but that's a scene that would be meaningful in a different show this show didn't in it at all those two barely have it's a connection i'm sorry it's it's so fitting that i just had the chaos blade part in god of war and now i see this yeah, because God of War earned the shit out of their payoff. I had someone in my chat while I was playing, and they were like, yeah, this is the first one I played. Kind of of an idea what was happening. The game told me there was something in his past that he just doesn't want to talk about. It's probably serious. And when this scene happened, he was like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, it's still connected, even though you have no fucking idea what's what's been happening in his past. Like, Meanwhile... everything makes sense, even if you don't see it. If you know the other games, and it's like, oh, I need to go and get something because I need something that's not ice, I guess, to make it super simple. And they're like, oh shit. Like, as a fan, you're like, oh fuck, you know exactly what's happening. Meanwhile, it's robot so shows well. up and bleep bloops, and everyone's silent yeah, for like two minutes while we're all just like, so... why is this happening? I honestly think if you had someone else in this call who loved this episode, they'd be like, what do you mean, why? It's also D2. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've seen the old movies too. They do the same shit. WWE does at the moment, or does a lot of times. I know this probably means nothing to most of people, but they constantly bring back all these old people to get like a rating spike. Like The Undertaker is almost falling apart, but they're still bringing back for uh, like WrestleManias. And you're like, I don't want to see him anymore. It, it looks like it's weird. Like it's fun to see him in like a passive capacity, but I don't want to see him in the ring anymore because he's fucking old. I don't, I don't want to see the old stuff all the time. You make a new show, 
and you anchor it on everything else that's like EU and main thing and all the things. Like, why even just make a story about them again? This so. show is riddled with like this season in particular, and it and it feels like we've totally veered away from what I thought this show was going to be when before it started, which was a show that was totally divorced from everything. It is completely interwoven with everything: Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, R two D two. Like, it's it's completely affixed to the movies. I mean, dude, yeah, and I wanted this goes on. Like Thrown. Oh, there's way more than that, yeah. It, it feels uh, like they use this, this se- Sorry, bo it, it feels like they use this season just to tease all these shows. This is, yeah, yeah, this I mean, is their uh, Iron Man 2 equivalent. It's, it's such a shame. This is just, they're doing it again. Like, this is, Disney are just, like, trying to restart the, the hype train by re-showing you even more characters. But it's, They did it this already with Luke, Khan, again. and Leia, and then look what happened to them. But it's working. People like this episode a lot. People think this episode is phenomenal. Pe- like, I don't, I don't oh, fucking. They just want to see the old shit again. You just want to see the things from the old shit. That's all you want. In you just want to hear the noises your brains remember. You just want to see the people your brain remembers. It's like, yeah. as long as you throw Boba Fett into it, all of a sudden now it's incredible. But remember, Bly Manor shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bly Manor yeah. didn't have Boba Fett and Fittus. Yeah, so season one was like. Oh look, you you remember like Stormtrooper armor? You're like yeah, You're like you remember the blasts and stuff? It's like yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, all those things would still be in the universe. I'm I'm cool with that. And then at the end of season one, they're like Dark Saber, also the Force. You know, like ooh, what are we what are we playing with? And you're like, all right, I'll let you have access to a lot of materials from the, the the universe. I'll allow it. But like you just said, season two was like, nah, fuck it. Mad Lord's our main thing right now. Let's put everything into it and spawn off a whole yeah. bunch of TV shows from it. You're like, damn. It was because it was so successful, wasn't it? I, well, but like, I wasn't shocked by that. Mad Lord's are already just, everyone likes them because they're cool. Like that that's already what you, you know. He has a backpack and he flies. I actually feel quite deflated now. Um, Me too, that was- I- yeah. I think part How of what lame. upsets me a lot is just so much mispotential with the show. I really wanted it to be good. I really did. And like what you had there with that payoff with Baby Yoda, <laughs> that could have been like a massive moment if we had spent, if we, if they'd done the thing that we keep suggesting, which is like season one is all bounty hunting, Baby Yoda right at the end, and you spend a really long time fleshing out this relationship. But it's and done. Please. Fucking shit, make don't have him be a baby. Have him be a small child who can like I talk think have and him understand. Be a kid would, yeah, I actually yeah. think I agree. Just yeah. just do the standard cliche old gruff man with the kid going on an adventure. Yeah, it works. Can, like, it's a good archetype. Thoughts. Make them they fight can head and have arguments. Make him a yeah. five-year-old for fifty. Fifty to five. Easy. This you still don't want to kill a five-year-old, right? That works. Everything yeah. still yeah. functions. And and you can have like Mando have to teach morality to this kid and maybe rediscover his own morality. And, and then um, like and, and, then, and you have the get, kid constantly yeah. being like, Why can't I look at you? And man, yeah, just like, yeah. But like, you could actually make it dramatic instead of awkward. And how about you make the show and you don't have, bo- like, you don't need to have Luke Skywalker and R two D two and Ahsoka and fucking Bo Katan. Like, yeah, what if you had, had be its own thing? You have a five year old lamenting over the fact that this strange quasi father figure protector <laughs> is a, someone whose face he's never been able to see. A whole season worth of that, where he never takes off his helmet ever yeah. and the, this is the first time he ever does it they've blown their load as big as they possibly can now what, what yeah where do you go from here there's nothing bigger than this darth vader well, well, returns uh, from yeah, the dead. So I, was, I was gonna say like <laughs> if you're thinking of like what show will i watch next like obi-wan and vader oh yeah boba fett's own show oh yeah ahsoka the dual lightsaber person from her own show thing oh yeah bo katan and her group of mandalorians with her dark saber we never even resolved that drama by the way all mando you're like why the fuck would i want why who do i what do i care about mando <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, yeah, what's, Mando's what's, fucking what lame. He's going through uh, Galaxy's Edge, seeing all the cool Star Wars stuff. I described Mando in my video. Mando is a dull, inconsistent, personality vacant, plot armor wearing luck machine. <laughs> He's also a JJ Spatch. Like he probably is wish fulfillment in terms of every episode he finds some cool, neat thing that everyone would want to do. And then oh. my OC meets Luke Skywalker, you... and then my OT meets Bo Katan, and then my OC has sex with Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my my OC got to sit in a car and chat with Bill Burr. Oh. Because um And then my OC had the dark saber. It's like a lightsaber, but it's dark. Okay. All I want is a vagina Boom. bazooka. Dick. To sort of uh, recap the episode though, the opening scene already confused because I don't understand why 
They found this guy's ship randomly, seemingly. Scientist man, right, should be sleeping and studying and researching. That's his life, and it should be on that ship with Baby Yoda. I don't know what he's doing in this random shuttle with these two dudes in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it just starts off with that. And also, we don't we, we don't get any answer about the, like, the blood, what it's supposed to do, what the whole point is about his, like, why the Empire wants him. Just Season some three. ambiguous, you're Season just going to help us. Season three, baby. He's just going to so, help yeah. us restore something to the galaxy so we need yoda's blood do we are they Wait, capturing what? that cruiser by the way <laughs> like, i guess the republic can have know. it i don't know will they have all of their studying or was it put onto a different ship by now i don't know well like what other big things do they have left to bring back i mean like oh do you think they're gonna do like han and leia they could do anything it's disney they will pilfer the ot they already tried and it didn't work and they're gonna try again and they're gonna keep trying and people are gonna get I think this is this is kind of a, a bigger fundamental point right now. I'm kind of tired of like the forgiveness we give based on, I guess, respect to characters, quote unquote, which is defined as in Luke's case, he was slicing down robots and he was uh, he was nice to people. This now means the show is good because it respects the character. I'd be like, how about we have respects the character and well written? Wouldn't that be neat? We could celebrate right, shows right. that aren't just like garbage poo poo instead of just like, well, yeah, but they didn't have Luke drinking from the nipples of a space cow. You're like, I, I, I don't know why that, that our bar is so low, guys. We could push it a little higher. Like, let's keep going. And it's like, okay, so you agree this is a step in the right direction. It's like, him not drinking the milk from the teat is a step in the right direction. What if the TLJ deleted that scene? Would you then be like, see, TLJ's not so bad. It's a step in the right direction compared to the older TLJ we had. I just. Are we like the only people on the planet who are like, hey, this isn't good? <laughs> like, can we, can we stop? I, I want to have respect for the new characters we got introduced to. Imagine if this payoff was like, oh my god, we get to see all of these new characters that we know so well, meet the old ones, and like, I wonder how the butt heads and like, you know, Mando's values are very different from like Luke's values, and they, they might, they might clash. And... I think it's telling yeah. that um, in our collection of characters, you got like. Bo-Katan is probably the most character without us knowing what her history is. She she just she seems very driven. Compare that to like Cara Dune. It's like what's her character? It's like uh, she's sad about Alderaan. And she helps Mando mm -hmm. whenever he needs help. It's like okay, what about Mando? You're like nothing. <laughs> the two things <laughs> I knew about him, which were that he hated droids and likes Baby Yoda. Both of those things are kind of irrelevant at this point in the show. Now they are, yeah. So what is he? It's like well, I guess we'll find out in season three. That's a plus, right? That by the third season, your protagonist might have characterization. That means you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> this is all ignoring the fact that like pretty much every episode has a major flaw when it comes to just the way that the plot progresses. The plots throughout all the, the season they're all fucking shit uh the best one is probably episode two or five yeah. neither of them are like strong they're just they're just rocky they're okay yeah they're, at best and this is what i mean I, I think people just don't care and they're like yeah but luke was luke you see and ahsoka was well we saw the chat reacting to it people didn't think ahsoka was ahsoka so we can't even claim that um but i am curious if tlj would have been forgiven for all of its faults if luke was actually chopping down the 8080s i wonder I, th I honestly think that if he had and he saved everybody and they all escaped and then like he was like now to destroy the empire and he flies up into <sighs> space and then the credits roll and it's like oh my god what a fucking cliffhanger i honestly think i just be like you guys are you serious right now like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, like, they, they just randomly find, um, Bo-Katan and her friend, and there's, like, a hint of, of writing again, the, the conflict of each of these three different Mandalorian, like, types are all from different, like, origins and have different values. I think that's interesting. The fact that they yeah. recognize Boba's voice because they've been around clones, I guess, that's neat. But then, um, the conflict seemed just add water sort of shit, where it was like, you're a disgrace to Mandalorians, no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they fight, and for some reason she's able to pull him. There's a lower amount of stormtroopers on the thing, and the guy is like, you know, your your information is incomplete, and then Cardoon's like, oh, an objective opinion. As, as if to as say, like, <laughs> he's obviously biased. Cardoon's kind of like, because uh, I would have agreed with Kara, though, if I was in that scene. I'd be like, why would we trust his assessment of how many stormtroopers are on the ship? So I think Luke says, A talent without training is nothing. I was gonna ask, is that a shot at Rey? Because well, Disney would say, no, she totally got trained. I don't know, that does seem because, like, that's the first thought everyone has, right? It's like, oh, what about Rey? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay with but that. Then again, people thought that uh, the Ahsoka line was a shot across the bow, so to speak. I like the idea that we've 
they've just they just wrote Ray in a way that now whenever a character talks about how training is important, people interpret it as a shot at her. <laughs> <laughs> the protagonist of the sequel trilogy. <laughs> the golden. Not just like a one-off character or anything like that, or some side plot. No, no, no. The protagonist of the sequels. Again, man. So like we predicted our different numbers for how much. Uh, he would get hit. I think it's probably going to be rags with 10. That's probably the closest. What do I win except my immeasurable disappointment? You win Mandalorian <laughs> Season 3. Get excited. I win <laughs> Mandalorian. Oh, God, yeah. Thrawn's going to be in Season 3. Oh, and then Thrawn's going to have his own it, TV Wait, show. is he? I mean, no, uh, no, it's not... They're going to get Luke to fight Thrawn, and they're going to do the Thrawn trilogy, which is apparently very good, and I trust that I'm trusting that. that Disney will nail it. Um, I would picture that that's what the hook for Mando Season 3 could be, that, that maybe he gets tangled up with Thrawn. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what, what, what they... How do you write a Season 3 for bad? I don't know. You, you a complete fresh slate, I suppose. You have to, you actually, in the, in the writing room, have to be like, what does Mando want again? They're like, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's something. Maybe they'll do a Mando season three. No, they will. They're they will. They've already yeah. confirmed a season three. It's yeah. confirmed. People love this show for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. I, I don't know. I think we've we've easily seen what the reasons are throughout the, all of the I, video Yeah, coverage. I know the reasons, but um, I hate it. Also, we predicted there would be a lot of stormtroopers being shot in corridors and, and holding Oh, that was a... This was possibly was the most those. in any episode. Good job. Yeah. Lots yeah. of really retarded stormtroopers in this one. I wonder if they'll keep it up because, uh, by the way, we're not like a fringe set of people with these complaints anymore. I'm really? seeing it everywhere now. Like, it's fully <sighs> spread. This is... The, the, you know how um there was course correction to a degree in the sequels for the prequels, as in, no more politics, uh, fix the dialogue, uh, more emotions, less, like, more action, less boring. I honestly think that season three might have a correction like that, like, they might stop just mowing down stormtroopers because the amount of people commenting on it. They're just gonna have it so that everyone's completely unguarded, so they don't have to mow down stormtroopers, they just can go in places. I don't know how you fix it at this point, because this is kind of the problem. If ever you portray them as, um, competent, that's a point of interest now. Like, whoa, look at them. They can actually aim a gun. Which, if you're making these episodes and you see reactions like that, you're probably like, ah, eh, jeez, what have I done? <laughs> like, I think I mm. fucked this up. This is the thing, if you were to write season three and you want competent stormtroopers, do you address that that comes across as inconsistent or do you just fucking roll with it? Honestly, I would roll with it. That would be my move. I would just go like, nope. Well, always... well, how many people just forgot about fobs because they just decided to drop it and never address it ever again? I guess you're right, yeah. If they just portray them as competent long enough, people will forget that they weren't. I mean, he could nothing. just have them be competent. Like, I, I think when it comes to stormtroopers, if I got full control, they would actually be deadly incompetent, and I'd say, fuck the old shit. Yeah. Y'all don't give a damn, so we're going to actually make an enemy force that's deadly, that you have to be clever with. Um, and talented yeah. and skilled. You could I just think... introduce a new enemy and not use the stormtroopers anymore. Like the dark troopers were fucking lame. Mm. They were lame. First of all, they tell us they got rid of the human component, so they're like super upgrade. Like they're the best. Like we're they're not even in the sequels. Like what are you talking about? Even though these guys are clearly better than the average stormtrooper, obviously, but they're still just yeah. wiped out. But I think it's just because they're just made of blaster resistant stuff. I think to be eighty percent of your survival is just fuck it. Why? I'm made. I can't be blaster killed so like i imagine like being a stormtrooper and you see these like blast resistant droids but like your armor isn't stick resistant yeah. like goddamn. i guess Damn. they didn't think that anyone in this world would be using sticks it's not blaster resistant either though yeah it's not anything resistant if anything it's it you're vulnerable to damage in it 
It's black. It's blaster attractive. Mando walks up to the area, sees them, the door opening, and he does a little like penguin waddle to get to the. He's like, oh, 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 and then puts it in. The door just slowly closes on them. And they're like, oh. Also, the one dude to open it, and he doesn't. None, none of the other ones are even trying. This whole scene is a fucking disaster. Like, there's no controls for them. Um, Gus can't do anything from where he is, I guess. They're just hopefully trying to get out of there. They take so long to come back. And also, how long they take to launch? Like, to the loading bars, whatever they are. If they were just instant, this whole episode's over. Oh, yeah. You know, I bet there's a lot of episodes where if just one thing happens, the episode's over. So fucking lucky all the time, our characters. Terminator Salvation, that's what I was thinking of. It, when, uh, when, I can't remember, I think it's Christian Bale's fighting, um, the Arnie bot at the end. It keeps throwing him around, it doesn't just kill. And, like, the only time it tries to do a kill shot, it's on his fucking Beskar armor. It's just like, ugh. By the way, he activates that airlock. There's not gonna be much air in that room, right? Like, wouldn't it clear really quickly? Almost yeah, in an but... instant. I'd and imagine. To the point where they wouldn't necessarily be all sucked out, rather, most of them maybe would would get out but like and then once they've been sucked out what's going back in well, yeah it took them ages to get back in yeah but like yeah. if I you get sucked out of a moving um, thing it's gonna follow the ship because that's just that's just how science is that's how physics are like they should have they should have been ejected and then they instantly flew back in yeah it took them seven minutes of episode time before they got back in why and like they show it and it's like they just fly back in yeah like the next the and there's like holes and the ship what why didn't they do that before dude imagine luke turned up one minute late i also love that um <laughs> okay so they have to like trick them into opening the cargo bay doors to deploy tie fighters to fly in right yeah but then apparently there's just holes in the bottom of the ship <laughs> That you can just have people fly. Damn, that is a major security risk. You can just have a droid yeah. fly up through that. Yeah, easily. I assume space suits <sighs> exist in the world, right? Like, I assume there's equipment you can wear to to, to exist. Oh, undoubtedly, space. yeah, yeah. So, like, by few those, deploy yeah. yourselves into my and ship like that. Maybe they didn't predict that it would be so stupidly designed, so they came up with a plan, and then when they're in there, they're like, huh. I guess I'm surprised they kept Moff Gideon alive. I don't know what they're going to do with him. Not from a character standpoint, from a oh. writing standpoint. Like, I don't know I why. I guess they very well might not have him ever be in another episode. True. Because they could resolve everything regarding him off screen. The question we asked in the previous one was like, how are they going to break into a ship? Are you satisfied with the answer, everyone? No. That's how they did they it. Are. They... They drove in through the front. Yeah, I actually think it would have been better at all. as an idea if they just uh, had Scientist Man at gunpoint and had him get them in. Just have him driving yeah. in and be oh, like, yeah, yeah. hello, I am back. That would make way more sense, actually. Yeah, but it, why, why it doesn't get that? you the action scene with Boba Fett, though. Uh, yeah, you have him piloting and talking to the people on the ship. He says, you know, mayday, mayday, my crew's been, you know. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, still do that. Yeah, my crew's been killed. Um, it... And you could, like, bang up the ship a little bit. Uh, to make it look more convincing, and, and then he flies in. And you can have him do all the things. He's like, uh, my numbers, my clearance code is this, so like, please help, mayday. Like, yeah, you, the whole scene is fixed, I think, if you do that. Yeah, I'm Dr. Pershing. He's a very important person to the Empire, so... Where's Dr. Pershing? Is he safe? Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> the Mandalorians jump off the platform for reasons. Like, you don't really know why. And then it's to set up mm. this moment where Sniper Lady and Cara Duna both see a bunch of Stormtroopers, and they, they give them the look of, Puh. What are you gonna do to us? When it's like, if any of, <laughs> if any of them fired at you, you'd be dead. So I don't know why. You're yeah, so there's smart. like seven. Of, like, at what point do the stormtroopers shoot the people who've been killing stormtroopers? Yeah, because you, you 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 said prior, like, how stupid does an enemy faction have to be before you just lose all investment of like how competent your heroes are? We've actually gotten to the point where stormtroopers several times. We're talking like at least ten in this whole season have a gun have it pointed right at their enemies and they just don't shoot and the show doesn't even know why the show the show's like I, I, they don't shoot <laughs> there you go I, I still remember every time i see this i'm reminded of the one clip from rick and morty where a uh freeze employee of the month ladies and gentlemen i can't stop thinking of that now freeze employee of the month ladies and gentlemen every single stormtrooper is squeamish when it comes to shooting enemies they're like yeah i don't know not unless that they the, could if they wanted to but unless mando's blocking them. yeah then they'll go nuts then they're like oh my god I, i'm desperate to fire this guy this bastard's gonna die how come he's not dying what the fuck uh little little ms dune gun jam uh pretty neat that 
in all Star Wars content that we have seen, which is a lot of Star Wars content, we've seen two gun jams, and they take place over two episodes of Mandalorian. Two consecutive episodes, back to back. And they happen to facilitate a melee. Or I'll just pull out my pistol that was working perfectly well. <laughs> She, be, she just hits them with her gun. Does she have a sidearm? That's actually worth checking. Yeah, she started <clears throat> using her sidearm inexplicably. Yep. Here's the you Luke guys one. remember Rogue One? She was real cool. <clears throat> they They're, they're the now referencing the only scene <clears throat> of theirs that's like famous for people actually liking it. It's infuriating how easy this is. Yeah, they, they figured out. They figured out the thing that people liked. They went they back did. to doing Rogue One again because Rogue One was the last thing that stayed yeah. green in a lot of people's eyes at like Star Wars. I'm um, crying, man. This is the first time I felt this way since that Rogue One scene, and man, oh my god, I feel like a kid again and freaking happy. Just, Star Wars is, is for kids? Is Patrick Willems right? Yes. Oh no. It's just a, just a corporation showing you things that you saw when you were younger, and that's all it takes. It's Cara Dune, when she goes to attack them with, the, with her big old gun go, there's two troopers in the background. She hits one of them down, then the next cut she hits one of them up. And then it cuts away, it cuts back, and she picks one of them up, throws them. She's closed the distance on all of them. And then she goes to hit the last one, who is getting up. He was standing there, he had a gun, he was ready to shoot. And then it cuts and cuts back, and he's getting up. It's like, what? What? Like, these action mm. scenes are terrible on a first watch, and then you rewatch them, and you're like, oh man, this is <sighs> next level. Mm. The, the cutting in this scene is doing so much work, it's crazy. I'm curious how far you could push it. I always am with this sort of stuff. Like, we, we show a shot with 17,000 stormtroopers all aiming their guns at a, at a guy. Cut to the guy, like, you know, it zooms into his face, and he, like, makes, like, a smirk. And then it cuts to him just shredding through all of them. He's right next to him. And then it cuts to uh, someone else going, whoa! And then it cuts back to him, and there's all corpses on the floor. And he's like, I did it. Yeah, and just, just ch every time you just change it, how about 1,000? Yeah. Well, what about 500? 250? 125? Someone be like, why'd you what guys care 60? so much about this? Like, oh, I don't know. Just... I just, I just want to know when you people are going to fucking get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's really about it. I'm just I, personal curiosity, I suppose you could call it that. Just how stupid and worthless does an enemy faction have to be before you stop, you know, having investment? Does it literally have to be a room full of kindergartners before you're like, oh, I don't know, maybe our hero isn't like that great. I'm starting to wonder if kindergartners would actually do better. Well, yeah, because they wouldn't gun them down so remote. They'd probably utilize cover, I would. That's for sure. <laughs> they would at least, utilize cover. yeah, they would have a they better survival have a instinct. Yeah. One thing we can talk about is, um, where does it rank, that episode? We're talking, we, we separated them into tiers. Uh, the last episode, which was, uh, the high tier was 2 and 5, which is not a high tier, but it is relative to Mando. Mid tier was 3, 4, and 1, and then low tier was 7 and 6. So where does this <coughs> one go? I feel like low tier. Personally. Yeah, I kind of feel like That's... it was low tier as well, so uh, especially with how disappointing the end was. It feels, it felt rushed, like it just ended. Nowhere near enough discussion uh, with all the characters. What's Are you that? a Jedi? I am. Cool here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Are you Jedi? Yeah. I'm Luke fucking Skywalker. I saved the galaxy five years ago. Yeah. The, this is what I mean. He was only um, the fans' idealization of who he is, which is essentially Jesus. Like, it's not um, not a character. Like, Luke would be like, "Oh, thank God, I got through all those fucking robots." Uh, so, what's going on? Who are all you guys? What's happening here? Like that. Instead, yeah, it was like on? flowery music back? and lots of pauses, lots of zooms, and then mention of the Force. You know, and, and they gave him what the fans want. Uh, it, it is just that, would you be happy if uh, Luke did flips on his, and then killed all the walkers meme? It's like, yes, apparently. Yes, apparently, that's all that would have been required. For some people, I assume there's a lot of people in, in the premiere of all of this that were like, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, you know, and there's probably a lot of those people. And Welcome. then there's other people who's like, that's not all they did, they did more! Yeah, there's gonna be lots of discussion about this, I, uh, I can't wait going forward to have to deal with so many people <coughs> saying, like, God, you'll never be happy, will you? Imagine, like, hate the haunting all the stuff. I have no haunting of the... <laughs> I would watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like Anakin's ghost, and it's like, hey. So yeah, it was bad. The season was awful. Uh, I think it sits below season one, safely. Season one's yeah. pretty bad, but at least season one's, like, episode one, two, three, stayed stable for longer than this season did, and the season's <coughs> lows, I honestly think kind of... Well, what is the worst episode of two seasons? Ooh. I think it's the tie between season one, episode four, and season two, episode six. I agree. I think I'm going to go 
with season one, episode four. It involves far more players and, you know, being involved with it. So many issues um, and so many big Being issues. dragged in. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm going to go with. All right. Thanks for enjoying such wonderful content that is the Mandalorian yeah. with all of us. This season thought it was such hot shit. We could, we could go cynical and just be like, they actually, uh, they were in their little boardrooms being like, oh my god, like, we can't deviate from what everyone's expecting. Just have Luke killing stuff with a lightsaber. Fuck it. They knew what they were doing, sort of angle. But uh, at least with with events, not how they constructed them. Of course, they fucking had no idea. I John really Lee wonder how this is gonna go down. John Favreau <laughs> saved Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, yeah, later. basically, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much. Maybe this would work on me if I hadn't seen the same trick try to be pulled a thousand times by different studios. <laughs> yeah, like, t TFA, yeah. TFA worked on me, I'll, I'll say that, but uh, not yeah. anymore. <laughs> only me. once, you know? Yeah. TFA worked on me, TLJ worked on me for a while, um, where I was like, hmm, there were things I didn't like, but it was cool that Luke was there. And then, like, every time it was tried again, ever I was just like, more going, hmm, it wasn't good though, and now I'm here. Well, I mean, it's, it's funny because like they add into a lot of episodes, can be all memey and stuff, but we're all just like, mm. I think I'm trying to crack down on what the experience is. And it's like I think it's just that this worked so well that this is all we're ever gonna get. This is gonna be the peak of Star Wars content. It's just yeah, well, Star Wars is a really really cool world, and there's so much you can do with it because of the combo of sci-fi and fantasy. Means you can essentially tell whatever the fuck story mm -hmm. you want. You have so many awesome sort of uh, designs, so many cool little elements, and and just um, infinite potential, and that's what we got. The, the fact that this is working on people means Disney has won. Oh, Disney is super happy about this response, surely. This is fucking fantastic. Yeah. Jay, what clap kind of and say bonus <laughs> recording. <sighs> what? Clap with each word and say bonus recording. Bonus! Wait, no, I forgot to clap. <laughs> This is something that happened post us watching the episode, okay? Everyone in the EFAP audience. This is taken from Star Wars Rebels. Some of you or all of you will know what the point of us watching this will be. It's amusing. Alright, here we go. Oh no, the ship has exploded and... Oh no, it's, it's exploding in 240p. Oh no. <laughs> you have the wisdom of a ruler. There's no one I trust to wield the Darksaber more than you. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> it came to me so I could pass it to you. Oh, oh they no! Uh -oh. They're gonna fight to the death now, right? I no, no, stop it! No, oh, no, I accept. Oh, what? what? For my clan. <laughs> <laughs> it looks oh, so shitty. It's so peeny compared to... <laughs> yeah, it's more like a dark dagger. Hmm. It's like a hobbit sword. So, uh, yeah, apparently oh, you don't have so, to yeah. kill the previous owner or anything. <laughs> yeah, they can just okay. fucking give it to you, I guess. We Star, Star Wars Rebels is, is current that's... law, right? That's that's yeah, that's current law. Yeah, yeah that's the whole. Well, that's, uh, this is where they got like, all of that shit from. From the previous Disney shows. Wow, uh, isn't it still Katie off playing the character in like both shows? How did she not notice? How did anyone not notice that? Because like, they don't give a shit. Because it's fine. Because Luke Skywalker will be here in a second, and they'll forget everything. I like how they're all okay. aiming their rockets at it. <laughs> <laughs> we do not accept yeah, this new like, monarch. <laughs> I feel like on Mandalore, that gesture would have a different meaning. Oh, it's, it's the way they trick people. They're like, "Oh, I'm totally cool with you." <laughs> in the same way that, like, getting on one knee to someone would have a different meaning on Mandalore. The oh. Knee we will now destroy you with our knee rockets. Oh my god. Pew, pew. Bringing every, any body part towards someone on Mandalore is a gesture of, I'm gonna kill you now. Pretty much. Yeah, just looking at him. He's like, oh no, his eye lasers are gonna shoot me. <laughs> we assumed it was shitty lore from other animated shows. It was like, nope, not even they thought that was the thing that they were just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. because we're like, surely this can't be actually what they do, because this is really fucking dumb. I mean, it still has the Excalibur sure element of who he who holds the sword controls the Mandalore or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like fine because it's curious about the whole like if it breaks or whatever else but i haven't seen the show i don't know if they talk about any of that shit it's a really awesome sword though right it's black oh yeah it's it's really cool it has a jetpack and it flies <laughs> the sword yeah so this next one the mandalorian luke skywalker deep fake compared to the original i, want, I just want to see what you guys think so this is okay, somebody's someone improved it someone's quick work done in like a day i guess and um let's see how it looks Oh, it's better. Are you a Jedi? I am. It does look better. It does look better. And I think wow. the first thing I notice is the eyes. Yeah. It's the it's the structure of the face and how it's lit. He looks mm -hmm. chunky in the left, but on the right he looks 
Yeah, it's so much more like, like Luke on the, on the right. That's really impressive, whoever did this. Wow. He looks pretty Could good, honestly. For permission. Oh, okay, that didn't look as good. So I think that one's really hard to pull off, and it still looks better than the left. The mouth movements on the original look janky already, so they can't fix the mouth movements with a deep fake, because that's not what a deep yeah. fake does. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I see what you mean. I seriously think the eyes are helping, though, a lot. The eyes help a lot. The lighting is better you. on him. But talent without training is nothing. Yeah, the less he talks, the better, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though in this scene, he needs to be saying a whole lot more. Yeah, that's the problem. This scene requires <laughs> I'm Luke requires fucking him to talk Skywalker. What the hell is going on here? Where did you find him? You know, great excuse. Give him a mask. It's 2020. Do you know what? I saw someone leave a comment mm. on something. I think it might have actually been the new EFAP, but it was like, you guys will complain about anything. The reason Luke didn't ask any questions is because he knew they were safe and they had destroyed, like, defeated the enemy on this ship. But are there, are there not more on the way? No, are there not it doesn't matter. I just find that fascinating. Like, even if they've won the fight, why would you ask questions? Like, why wouldn't you be like, hey, who are you guys? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. because we assumed that they'd won the fight. This is the end of the episode. There's nobody left. Yeah, you don't know who, who might be on the way. You don't know who else is in this fucking ship. You don't even know if these guys are the good guys, strictly. Yeah, you, these are Mandalorians. You had a war with them if you're a Jedi, then, like... Aren't you- don't you want to know what's going on? Another, um, thing they added was that he would recognize that Cara Dune is Republic and therefore this is Republic people. And it's like, um, from a tattoo, I guess. You know this I one guess? random- you know one random marshal? I, f I feel like that's a bit of a leap, isn't it? It's like, oh, you are affiliated with the Republic, therefore I don't have to ask any questions, bye. Any excuse. So if there's anything we know about Luke is that he's very trusting of, uh, authorities and governments. Will not be safe, Masters is authorities. But the last person said he couldn't be trained, so, like... <laughs> and then she was okay with it. With. He's one of your kind. Oh. He does look so much better. This was done in, like, a day. Yeah. Oh, it didn't even deep fix the uh, R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so better. better. May the force be with fix the writing now. <laughs> deep fake the writing. <laughs> deep fake the writing. The writing. <laughs> this video was made by Quaker Oats. Good job, Quaker Oats. I've always wondered what Quaker Oats are up to these days. Nice to know they're still kicking. I guess you get really efficient at making oatmeal, so you just try new things. So the channel is called Shamook, and it's a deep fake channel. This is Star Wars Theory. I think he read, reads out a super chat and responds to it after having uh, cried for a while about the episode. I feel like Disney's banking too hard on nostalgia, aka Luke, Ahsoka, Bo-Katan for Mando Season 2 instead of putting effort into good writing. <clears throat> Your thoughts? Completely disagree. I think this is the writing that we need. We'll probably take this piece by piece. Completely disagree. <clears throat> this is the writing we need. Very interesting choice of words. Yeah, the fucking fan service has nothing to do with the writing. <sighs> this um, is the writing we need. Because they wrote it to have Luke Skywalker show up. So we have to be the assholes in the party who every single time have to go, you can have it, be fan service, and be good. And they, they look at you and frown. They're like, how dare you? You're like, how but dare it's you? true. <laughs> yeah. I think from now on, I will always point to God of War 4 when that comes Hell up. Yeah. Just, just look at that. That's so fucking good. It's amazing. Thorough fan service, and it's all incredibly well supported and earned, but this, not so much. These characters are the. F it's, like, it's like saying, oh, why is Avengers focusing on Iron Man and Thor and Captain? Um, this is the uh, fucking weirdest analogy. So... I don't even know. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that argument. <laughs> I think he's just interpreted the super chat as. The fact that it has fan service and it means it's bad. That wouldn't even be applicable as a, as a comparison where you're like, it would be fan service to have Iron Man in Avengers. It's like, well... The, the, the yeah, part, I don't even know what point he's yeah. making. Part of why Avengers happens is Iron Man. Like, the idea that, oh, it, you know, having Luke in Star Wars is the same. It's like, no, Luke is dropped in. Like, he's it's like an emergency character blood to try and make people mm. like it. It's not the same at all. Like, the whole premise of Avengers is the coming together of several heroes, while The Mandalorian is a show about a bounty hunter who doesn't want to kill the bounty or give in the bounty that he's set after. What the fuck does that have to do with Luke? And it's just like, well, he shows up because the Force, I guess. Yeah, the Star Wars, because you'll clap at the jingled keys. Like, why don't we just focus on good storytelling? It's like, but that's what Avengers is about. It's about these characters. Avengers is about those <laughs> characters just being there. So he's saying that the Mandalorian Season 2 is about Boba Fett and Ahsoka and Luke being there. So Star Wars is about a lot of things. Avengers is about the Avengers. I, I mean, like he's, the Avengers. He it's like a show called the, Luke Skywalker. Uh, is he arguing that the story of uh, Mandalorian season two is about these things? So it makes sense that they're in it. Like it's about 
X meaning it's okay, when fan service slash good writing slash like earned payoffs feels like it's all up in the air and getting jumbled around, and uh, you just pull it whichever one is, is sort of convenient at the time, as, as strange as that sounds. He's, he's just like, Luke shows up, it was amazing. It's like, yeah, but it's not very well written. And he's like, yeah, I think it is. And it's as well written as having Iron Man in Avengers. Uh, 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 <laughs> and you're like, I, I... That you are of a minority. I mean, it's just obvious if you look out there. And I is think it, it has almost 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. Style, uh, arguments toes. crushed. Yeah. <laughs> Have you considered it has 100%? <laughs> it's funny to me because I'm like, yeah, we could have gotten that. Regard it's not hard to clearly it's not hard to get that. I would just rather yeah, get just have it so Luke show good. up in a show with good writing. Look look yeah, how it's crazy. Mandalorian season two got a hundred percent. It fucking slithered into the the goal. It 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 did pathetically. So I think we could probably nail that one hundred percent anyway. It's okay if you don't like it. Pretty but you should you also acknowledge that anything. you're trying to yuck some yum that a lot of people find very tasty. Well, it's okay if you don't like it, but you have to acknowledge that you're trying to steal the joy from everyone else. The just okay. right argument. And, and at the same time, it's a weird, there's like an underlying sense of like, maybe maybe you should back down considering how much everyone's enjoying this. Yeah, we like yeah. it. You can't say that it's bad if people like it. And I'll say like, I've seen uh, dissenting opinions on this finale from a couple of places, but it is a bit of a tidal wave of praise right now from a lot of people. And I love the idea that we should back down if there's enough people saying they like it. It's like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck that shit. So, you know. I'm not gonna go with this herd mentality. Yeah, like some people hate watermelon. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That about sums it up. <laughs> that doesn't mean that explain what it's an good is. subjectively or objectively. It right. just means that right. subjectively, I like it. So okay. we know it. You saw Luke. You love it. Yeah, so the Super Chat was clearly asking you whether or not you think that this style of writing is going to be good yeah. for the overall. And you're like, well, I like watermelon. <laughs> All right, then. Storytelling or good storytelling, it just means it was, um, in my opinion, I think it's the true storytelling. True what? storytelling. True storytelling. True storytelling. What does that mean? No, no, Surely no. he doesn't mean, like, tautologically, this is the story that it is. <laughs> you can't deny that this was the writing that was written. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really difficult to understand when he says something, what he actually means. Like, what are, what are the thoughts in his head that his brain is struggling to put words to? Well, it's actually it's a very similar skill to, like, um, archaeology, like, uh, decoding <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the speakings and the writings Star Wars <laughs> What was the daily life like? Breath How away. many iterations bring new variations to our favorite game fundamentals? Oh my god, I know that one. Mm. You brush away at all the little bricks and markings and it reveals pineapple and you're like, oh my god. No, watermelon, sorry. So many Fuck. words. Yeah, you, you, brush, you find a little like an ancient tablet in, the, uh, in this tomb and it says, I like watermelon. <laughs> You don't, I do. That's fine. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'd really love that. They, have a, they had a very tolerant religion, these people. Very tolerant. And it, they found a way to make it interwoven with the Mandalorian story of Grogu. Interwoven. And Din, Imagine considering what we saw mm. to be interwoven. It was so elaborate the way that Luke just fucking shows up in his X-Wing. I and picked up Baby Yoda <laughs> and yeets off. It's amazing to me. Think of the writing room. They went, how do we get Luke to show up? Uh, he gets called by the Force. How does he do that? Uh, there's a stone on some planet stone. that calls him. How does he get there? Ahsoka tells him where it is. How does he get to Ahsoka? bo tells him where she is. How does he get to bo -Katan? A fish tells him. I, I love that. I love the thought that they started with the Luke Skywalker Only, cameo. They, and they have, just right? went back from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because think about it. When we got to that point, it's like a fish told him where bo -Katan was. And you're like... How how does he get the fish? It's like, he happened to speak to someone who happened to speak to and gamble with an ant who happened to speak to the fish. That's how this story started. <laughs> Fucking Mandalorian sucks. Like, it's it's terribly yeah. written. Do you think that, like, none of this ever relied on Mando's skill? No. It was just, he, he was lucky, lucky that some people in the galaxy talked to each other and then told them what they heard. <laughs> beautiful. They did a great job. They did a great job. Uh, it's beautiful. What a worthless bit of commentary. Good job. What are the two worst words of the English language? Good job. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, that he has. You guys ready to be the crotchety grandpas of Star Wars for the rest of our fucking careers online? Dagnabbit! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting ready to be the crotchety uh, grandpa of Doctor Who. The way I kind of see how this will roll out is that um we will be the crotchety grandpas for every single time the new Star Wars content comes out, everyone is like enjoying it, but then when everyone looks back sometime later, they will all agree that it was kind of bad. And it basically, we will never 
be strictly like in good graces with anybody because of this. It doesn't change how good our arguments are going to be, so yeah. whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, just just give me something with good writing. Something that makes sense. That would be I'm, pretty I'm, cool, I'm, actually. I'm, I'm good. I like good writing. Yeah, but, good. Yeah, but good writing yeah. isn't the true <clears throat> writing. Um, ah, shit. Oh, oh that's the no, big true true. It's no watermelons and true writing. Uh, and not true writing. Damn it. Fuck it up. So a couple of things I'm, I'm just going to mention to make sure <clears throat> for posterity, as they say. Isn't it interesting that um we are all like, oh my god, they're going to fly back into the ship when you throw the the super droids out there? Like, well, 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 well that doesn't that doesn't end the drama. And Mando knows that, but he doesn't act as though he knows that at all. Yeah, he he doesn't act like they're on a very very small timer. He actually knows. Oh, we assume he's smarter than he is. Maybe he is too dumb to realize. <laughs> yeah, Mando's really fucking stupid. We keep sort of like forgetting that. True. Maybe um, I f I genuinely feel like he lost himself time by pulling that button, and it would have been taken longer for them to get through the door. To get to the door, yeah. I'm gonna disagree Maybe. with you, but not because you're right in everything except that the show bends reality, so they get back. Oh yeah. And okay. They, they actually take and, like seven yeah. minutes to get. Back. They take way longer to get back for no reason. No. If you to the point where you can make it, really uh, for like a year, would your cum hurt? So I, uh, <laughs> I, would make I it came before. back to hearing, would your cum hurt? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Mandalorian. Yeah. Video, everybody. It all started with me saying I want some breakfast. and then Oh, I, I can see how that, yeah, okay. that makes sense <laughs> yeah. now. Rags, you pointed out the guy in the beginning is really neat that he's interested in staying alive. They're like, shouldn't we fight the pirates? And he's like, fuck that, I'm gonna die if I do that. It's like, hey. And then he proceeds to just randomly piss off the person with a gun to his head. He's like, mm -hmm. hey, your planet blew up. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Like, what? <laughs> and yeah. She, and then she's like, don't, stop. Like, put the gun down. And he's just like, me. <laughs> and then he gets shot. You're like, hey, your planet is destroyed and I'm evil. <laughs> you know what You know what yeah. I did when uh, when Alteron was destroyed? I coomed. I coomed. <laughs> A billion sperm for the billion lives lost. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it considered in character for Luke to essentially be in a position where there's like a huge amount of trauma that's happening in this place with people he has a major concern over and he's asking nothing? You've got, um, he was portrayed with dignity is the line that everyone's going right now. Despite asking no questions about the operation of the Empire and what they're running or any information that he could get instantly from these people rather than just finding out later from, I don't know, sending people here, hopefully. The Mandalorians are going to take this ship. The Bo-Katan and her, her crew, apparently the ship is going to them for their war, for, for taking back Mandalore, which is apparently what season three might be about. Uh, them doing that and obviously Mandalorian lead, leading them because he has the, the special black bullshit. So like, but like, he doesn't care. He doesn't contact the Republic to make sure this stuff yeah, like, is taken care of. What's gonna happen to this warship? Um, mm -hmm. To make sure these are people are safe, pirates? to make sure these people have a way out. I guess the- Where's my warship? Is, is, is it safe? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, who the people are. If he if he took his time to find out, you'd find one of the most infamous assassins in the universe is in that room with him, who also has a mechanical stomach. <laughs> I just I think I think that's a point of interest. <laughs> Nothing will change the taste I'd... of her coom because of her mechanical stomach. My God. So did we ever did we ever ever talk about how she has like a little lap on her clothes now, so she can specifically to show, to show people? people she's got a mechanical show stomach. Show people like look I'm mechanical not a anymore. I'm a cyborg. <laughs> well, the fact that it doesn't have its own skin covering is. It's kind of strange, isn't it? She already had that flap. She just liked showing people her belly. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fit I am. Also, yeah, <laughs> just to find out what everyone's relationship to each other is, where everyone's coming from, what everyone's doing, if they're okay, and why these people care about the little force goblin. Like, what, what's going on? No, yeah, that's asked about. Can you tell me anything about this? Luke was respected, stuff. and he was treated with dignity, and he's totally in character. I honestly, at first, was kind of cool with just being like, yeah, sure, but at this point, I think I'm going to push back against he was in character. I don't think he was in character at all. He was more this, so yeah. a representation of Luke, how the fans see Luke rather than Luke, if that makes sense. Yeah, Look, he kicks ass and is calm and kind, I guess. Yeah, he calm, kills some robots awesome. in the lamest fight ever, <clears throat> and then he takes a baby and then he oh, fucks no. off. No. <laughs> Nobody like they they didn't show anyone recognizing him as Luke Skywalker. They really do. strange. You'd think that he'd be a really famous guy. I guess we're still running with that whole thing. <laughs> He's just nobody knows who he is. I don't know. Can't say it often enough how bizarre that is. People have complimented the show for how, when he's moving through the security footage, Moff Gideon is looking stressed out. And people are like, ah, don't you get it? The show's trying to say Moff Gideon knows who Luke is and he knows what this means. They didn't have any 
interesting shit in the room where like Luke could look at Moff Gideon and and he could be like, oh fuck, like they don't, I don't think they knew each other at all, just sort mm. of implied maybe. I don't think maybe. He, that it was clear that he knew who Luke was. Rather, he's just like, who the fuck's doing that? What yeah, the hell? Yeah. No one knows Imagine. anything about the stuff that's happened in this fucking universe. Imagine you still, you finally have your super army of robots, and then some Randy comes up with a little <laughs> sa lightsaber, just fucks them all up, and you're like, oh man. You, you play with your friends, and you manage to build this awesome army. There's a level 50 <laughs> against their level 40s, and you're so excited that a level 100 just kills them all. And you're like, okay. Someone invades your <laughs> server. <laughs> Well, that was Why fun. you spilled the droids out of Beskar? Oh my god. Why not have your stormtroopers use the... Because I, I thought it was interesting that they say that the um the droids, they take like many minutes to start up. Dark troopers. Um, and, and, it's, and the idea is like they consume a lot of energy. That's why they're kept on like ice until they're needed. And so we I think we brought up it's like you'd have at least two active, surely. You'd just have them on your ship. Like that's worthwhile. They're amazing. Um, yeah. But at the same time... You wouldn't put them all in the, sing in the same room together. At the same time, I can understand that they take more power than, let's say, a battle droid or a super battle droid, right? Cool. However, more power to the point where they need, like, ten minutes to fucking load? Like, I don't know about this, because, sure, they're stronger. Like, they can punch a blast door open for reasons. But at the same time, their most valuable asset, I would say, is their blaster-proof armor. Well, yeah. Which yeah. is what the droids in Season 1 have. Yeah, because the security droids that the Republic uses on their ship... So it's actually one of the most dumbest backwards designs I've ever ever seen in my life in a show. <laughs> so the security droids that the New Republic uses to guard their prisoners, they are selectively resistant to blaster fire, but you can pull their limbs off with your hands. <laughs> Which is like the exact opposite of what you would need if they're guarding unarmed prisoners. Also, isn't it that their chest plates are immune to blaster fire, but their head plating isn't? Selectively. Uh, fucking I mean, it seems it. like their heads are the weak spots, but that just goes to show how stupid yeah. the design is, because droids don't need heads. If and CPU... if you're going to put armor on them, you put armor around the important parts. And that's the thing, I've always found it amusing that you'd put the CPU for a droid like in the head, and the head is weak, and it's like, wouldn't you just put it in the strongest place in the body, I guess? Whatever yeah, don't is... even give it a head. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't need one. one. Well, super battle droids, they don't well, quite have heads, right? Probably good for yeah, really having, heads. Like, articulated sensors. <clears throat> you can just put a sensor on the top that just swivels, a little tiny one. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I, I brought this up because like one, it's uh, lucky that this is all how it works because it allows everything to happen <clears throat> the way it does, but they ask um, Pershing, they're like, will there be enough time for Mando to get to the those droids before they're woken up? And he's like, they, they, they take minutes, so maybe. Like, that, that's the plan. That's what everything was based on, was the word of someone who's not even on their team. And even with their word, it was an incredible gamble. He got there a second before it was too late. And, and he, like, tells them, like, oh, I, uh, I don't, um, you know, it's all chill. I'm, it's, it's fine. I am totally not lying to you. And it's amazing because he doesn't actually <laughs> lie to them. I don't know why he doesn't. So this is something that we didn't even pick up on at all because I guess all of us just blanked on it. I hadn't, I hadn't thought of it in many, many years. But do you guys even know the name Bib Fortuna? Yeah, he's uh, the yeah. Pilot. He's the major domo for Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, just to make sure, because like I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who had seen Mandalorian, and uh, he was telling me about like that's that just that's bib fortuna in case you don't know he turns up at the end of mandalorian and he gets shot by boba it's fucking awesome it's so cool the friend of mine was even just like um talking about that bit and then uh they mentioned a bit weird though because he's dead and i was just like is he dead he got leia jabba and if you look over there's bib fortuna yeah he's just chilling and if you guys remember, this oh, yeah. whole place gets blown up. If the place got blown up, that means he's either dead or he jumped out last minute and he made it back to the palace and he got real fat. <laughs> <laughs> the credits actually cite him as Bid Fortuna in the um in the end of the Mando episode as well. Oh no. So yeah, no one's ever really gone once again. Luke Skywalker. You really didn't think that would apply to Bib Fortuna. <laughs> The Book of Boba Fett being like a show all about him, I guess, maintaining control over Tatooine could be fun. Probably won't be well written because it's Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and Robert Rodriguez are the three people who are heading it. <laughs> so, Thank rip. You. I'm sure it'll be filled with action, though. Plenty of people getting blasted by Boba. Oh, yeah, very exciting. There'll be people in hallways that die from blasters. Oh, yeah, it'll be... Maybe cool. they won't even just have hallways. Maybe like an open space. Like, open like space? a room. <laughs> Not Whoa. just a hallway, an actual room. <laughs> I was re-watching uh, the episode with, with, with a friend and... and... They were just blown away by that moment. Like, the room as though it's only the people in that room that they kill that matter. Like, there's no one else in all of Jabba's palace, apparently. They're just like, we win. We killed the people on the stairs and the people in the room oh, other yeah. than those who <laughs> ran away, and it's over. And it's like, uh, there's probably 
probably more than that. Um, I don't know. And it's yeah. such a and yeah, I think we talked about it off recording, but like, what a missed opportunity! Like, you could have made season one of the Book of Boba Fett about how he tries to t retake control of Tatooine from His Bib Fortuna. His assault on Jabba's palace could be like its a uh, whole episode. Well, the finale, right? It could be an awesome fucking ending that he yeah. tries to get back in. They all hate him, will keep him out, and they're all like his Arch reputation has clever. sank. And they can reference like how he's pathetic or something. The whole season could be about him regaining his reputation. Yeah, but then of course they have the shot of him on the on the throne. And it's like, oh, that's why. It's just the, it's just for everyone to go, oh, oh. When they do the thing of having a uh, Jedi now in the Disney properties, the, the the actors use like a um you know plasticky sword that lights up, and it looks pretty neat in post then because mm -hmm. it, it yeah. helps them yeah. make them look really accurate. Like um the prequel swords look pretty damn good, but I'd say that Disney might have the the, the best ones. In terms of effects, yeah. as well as the uh, the sound design on the on the, on the lights. The issue with awesome. the ones on the prequels is that they don't light up any anyone that's physically there. Um, right, but these ones can because they actually light up in real life as well. Yeah, and yeah. They can <clears throat> amplify it. The swords they have, uh, Rags. You comment at one point as Luke is walking by something that he probably cut open that crate when they cut away, but he wouldn't have actor wise because the lightsaber is probably about half the length of the real one as he's using it and i base oh. this on the fact that there is a scene in intercut with a lot of them where i don't i think they colored his lightsaber properly but they didn't extend it to the length that it's supposed to be i'm not even sure if they added the effect his lightsaber is small yeah and it's also it, is, it doesn't yeah. look like they've applied the effects to it yeah it look, looks yeah it looks raw so i think they forgot to in that one shot which is That's... very interesting embarrassing it, well also embarrassing yeah i don't know how you fucked that up he's got they probably have it like that so that he can quote unquote stab but it wouldn't be a stab and they can fill the rest in in post and i was like oh yeah that would make sense that's probably why the sword is small yeah whoops big old whoopsie we have three stormtroopers in this room two that are about five meters in front of fennec that are together and one that's about two meters to the left of them she's going to shoot one of them without any of them realizing she's there then she will do a forward roll for no reason, and then she will shoot the second one, and then the third one she will hide from, and then she will kill him. And for some reason, he will never even realize what just happened to the two people behind him, even though he'll have plenty of time to realize. And I know that we, we definitely would have commented on this in the in the initial recording. It's just like, how do we keep saying how fucking stupid stormtroopers are, yeah? The fucking dodge, dude. It's insane. Yeah, I just uh. saw the dodge. <laughs> it's such a mysterious situation when you have... Pershing ship arriving at your Empire ship, if you're Gideon, and he is chased directly out of hyperspace by Slave 1. Like, how did Slave 1 track them through hyperspace? That's not invented until the sequel trilogy. Uh oh, mm. interesting. That's a good point. I just got, I was just left it playing and I just got to the bit where she beats them with her gun and I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> As we're watching it, I'm like desperately demanding Gideon ask for uh, any kind of clearance and I didn't even think about the fact that one chase them through hyperspace should be impossible unless they're, they're working together. Yeah, they must have shared coordinates, yeah. Oh, and I guess the last thing, I, I discovered this while editing literally today and I already sent it to Rex. They nailed it, quote unquote, in one way and then they kind of fucked it up. So Mando in episode six with Boba Fett fires six of his 12 total whistling birds uh it, mm -hmm. when we first see the the shot of the whistling birds i believe they have t 12 in the in the wrist and then he fires six um in the episode against the super droid and of course then gideon is like you have fired your full salvo and it's like how do you how do you know that how did you how do you mm -hmm. okay and the reason he says that obviously is to let us know that's why mando's not using it because uh he be a yeah. kill. Birds he has. but there's a there's a shot where he goes to fire the, the, <coughs> the droid in this episode and he's got he, he's got like the the full sort of wrist shows that there is a slot for each whistling bird. There are three lights that aren't lit up to imply that he's fired three out of these total slots and he has 14 lights that are ready to go. So, um, yeah, he had more than enough to take out Gideon, apparently. Oh, that's a shame. Not that that matters, because he could have used his fucking flamethrower anyway. Yeah, he could have. More so with season two than season one, Mando is absolutely terrible at using his arsenal to his benefit you'd think that it's like oh it's clearly more than season one it's like well season one he has that whole set of weapons in his ship that he never uses except one time to let kara have one of them yeah even though he should have used them for more than just combat like remember okay. how they established he has a scope that can see and hear through walls and he only uses it one time and never ever again no one could find a use for that in any other <clears> way yeah i mean how much would you use that if you were in combat yeah, yeah. if you could see and hear through walls and nearby that just doesn't sound <laughs> useful at all 
I'm like, have you ever really seen a wall? They don't come up that much. Goodbye, no, everyone. everyone. Thank you for watching. This has been great. See you next time, year for Mando season three, or rather, when you see us covering Batwoman. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Yeah, absolutely. What are we covering Batwoman in? Uh, goo. No okay, problem. bye. Um, but yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, yeah bye, bye. everyone. Enjoy you your Krimbus. Yeah, ha Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, have Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Toodle dongle. 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 May the f May the force. May the force fuck the force. you. It's, it's the Mandalorian. Fucking... It's right here. Mandalorian, everybody. Oh my god. We did it. We Luke Skywalker. He saved the Mandalorian with his lightsaber. Uh, Happy New Year. Anyone else think that Mando's head looks really small? <laughs> it does look really small, yeah. It would be really dark if Baby Yoda, like, controlled Moff Gideon and made him shoot himself. What'd you bring me? <laughs> I fucking hate that show. Hey, Rags, check out this meme. All right. I don't really care if you like him or not. Say you not How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? Season in the last time I saw him, he talked about beating you and calling you a whore. <laughs> How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a quality I, lineage. I do like it being pulled out every once in a while in the middle of a conversation. That's my opinion. <laughs> Oh, you can't, can't do it without picturing those two heavily distorted faces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fucking cunt with the fucking huge eyes. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> <laughs> They're all so good. <laughs> That's my opinion! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. I mean, that's the stuff of, like, legends, you know? And, oh my god, like... Couldn't be happier. You know? Couldn't be happier as a Star Wars fan. Okay, my hands are... My hands are shaking. <laughs> Let's... Uh... And then seeing R2 with him, it was like... I got to feel like I was a little kid. <laughs> Should've been you now. Luke's voice. Oh. <laughs> I want to milk it. Did you guys cry too? <laughs> Wow, it's over 30,000 people here. Let's, I don't know what to say, buddy. This is, um, this is bigger than, than anything for me. It's, um... I have come to love these characters every bit as much as the OG trilogy characters. Star Wars has literally been a part of my entire life. I'm bawling with you. <laughs> <laughs> and it couldn't have been more beautiful, you know? And watching it, I was just like, what the hell? This, how is this, this is actually happening if you don't like it and you want to comment that's totally fine too i'm fine with that just don't rain on people's parade don't come in here and be a dick you know because let's just let people that love it let us love it you don't have to hate on people liking something you don't we should all like different things or else the world gets really boring really quick i love you guys and um i'm honored i could share this moment with you who the fuck is dim that's uh, mando i think his name should be dim because he's a fucking idiot